Hi everyone, I'm Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together we are Rianne. Audrey? Yes? How are you feeling tonight? I'm nervous. Oh? Are we gonna... Is what's going on... Are we gonna beat this game tonight, potentially? Um... I saw the I saw the stream feels title. Like it. Yeah. Yeah. So I just have this suspicion because I'm I'm trying to look back in my mind. Yeah. On that trailer in Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah. The trailer yeah, yeah. for Chapter Two. Uh huh. I feel like we've seen a lot of that stuff. Man, I can't even remember remains. that trailer. <laughs> it does, you know, after we beat Chapter One, there was like a little quick Teaser like cut thing for the rest of the game yeah as okay. far as we know yeah yeah all right but do not confirm or deny yeah we just please don't suspect it yes we're i'm just i'm nervous mm. i don't know i'm like where is this gonna go yeah but welcome everyone thanks for tuning in yes another wednesday night duo stream how's it going everybody golf is here holla how you doing What's kept up? us waiting huh that we did wings yeah. we're here now we're here now we're here wings thanks for coming back mm -hmm. and the bomba is here too hey la bomba and asked if we have um, the ability to play a YouTube video on stream, could be potentially be handy. Sure, sure. And yeah, Anthony explained, we could do that, but it's kind of something I, I prefer to do since I, I'm on the, I'm on the I'm, scene I'm switcher. I'm on the controls. I'm on the controls, so I didn't, I didn't set it up. Um, she but you know, could. I could. So Audrey's more than capable. But oh, we prefer set me up. We're, yeah. we prefer to prep. So I don't we'll see. Um, you know, if it if it comes to that, then I'll try to set something up. But um, like we've teased at some point in the future after we kind of complete our little Metal Gear Solid saga. Yeah, if it we ended ever up do. we were joking. Like ten months ago, we were joking. Year of Metal Gear. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. December. The last. <laughs> the last month of the year. <laughs> month of the year. Two weeks left of the year, and we're on Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. So, um, we yeah. So we've said we might do like a little wrap up kind of stream. So then yeah. we might you know reserve some um, video watching for that. Yeah, um, it'll be know. a fun stream. I think yeah. a lot of things to cover. We'll get you guys ideas mm -hmm. of things we should do on, on the stream. Too yeah, some things. Were, yeah, some things were like, oh, the trailers for Metal Gear Solid Five would be kind of interesting to watch. Yeah, things yeah. like that. So, yeah, like yeah. spoiler, maybe like rate them on how spoilery they are. Oh, you know, that could be fun. That that would be really fun. S tier, S for so spoily. Yeah, stuff yeah, like that. That yeah. could be fun. That would be really fun. Um, and tier maker, like best Metal Gear. A tier maker would be fun. Best characters. For sure, for sure. Favorite Ocelot. Yeah, <laughs> favorite like, Ocelot. There's just a lot of really great ideas. You know? Favorite Ocelot would be difficult. Anyway, yeah. um, Merck is here too. Merck with that amazing emote. Love so it, Merck. So good. What's How are you up? doing? Happy and Wednesday. SK, thanks for being here. Thanks thank for you. tuning in. Yeah, thanks uh, for tuning in. And thanks and for helping with that sound check. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, <laughs> thank you for that. And Ash, Ash is here. Don't worry about being late. I'll just listen to Sins of the Father and... Well, until it's time, <laughs> stop! Don't burst! Don't sing it! Don't fast forward anymore. I know anymore. we're not we're ready. Here. We're not we're ready. We're here. We're here. So let's not let's not uh whoa anymore. <laughs> and Navnam is here. Thanks for being here. I finally binge watched all of your playthroughs you of so Metal much. Gear Solid. We really appreciate it, and thank you for tuning in live too. Thank you. You know, shout out to all the people who watch our YouTube vods. Um, yeah. it's like incredible how many views those those vods get huge yeah shout out to the metal gear solid fan base out there thanks for watching our stuff yeah and thank um you. thank you for those of you who came of over them. to watch us live here too yeah thank you Appreciate so much it. that makes us so so happy yeah um and thank you because we know not everyone, everyone can make it live so oh, thank yeah. you for watching yeah that's the VODs. amazing metal gear solid 5 is dense it is it's been it's been pretty dense yeah but I'm 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 still here. I'm still able to follow. You yeah. know what I mean. Sometimes when it gets too too dense, I'm, I get lost. Yeah. Imagine if all you did was straight through, just do the main ops and the necessary side ops, and listen to all the tapes as they appear. Oh. Right. Mm. Without you, you know, like playing every day. Like that's your main thing. Yeah. That's got to be so dense. It's got to take. It's got to be hard to digest, right? Whereas we are just doing this once a week, so we have some time to let the new stuff kind of uh, simmer right. in our yeah. brains. That's true. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid? Yeah, golf. There it is. Metal Gear Solid. Nice. That might be the name of the <laughs> freaking that, the debriefing that stream. That might be the name of the, the debriefing stream. We'll have to credit you, golf. The trailers would be nice. That's what I'm. That's what we're thinking, too. S tier trailers, S tier spoilers. Yeah. They will all be S tier. <laughs> yeah, pretty much all of them. 
Oh yeah, gonna be a long debrief. Grab your popcorn. That's right. Favorite yeah, ocelot. Yes. Okay. We can yeah. see where we'll our look, start thinking of your ideas, and we'll let you guys know on the Discord when we uh, we're mm. looking for ideas. Things to rank. Yeah. Tear maker. Favorite uh, form of snake. Oh, favorite snake. Favorite snake. I guess. Yeah. I was also thinking like favorite. I don't know how to what to call them, but like enemy. Oh yeah. Unit yeah. members. Because we got like yeah. Foxhound, we got Dead Cell, yep. we got Cobra Unit, yep. Beauty and the Beast, mm -hmm. like the favorite member Parasites. out of all those, you know. Would you call that? or the, No, those are like the type of enemy. Yeah. That would be kind of like, um, what were those uh, types? In Just the skulls. Oh, the I don't know. What I, I it's in harder in this game. Yeah, that's true. So far. In 4, what was it? What were the name of the- Beauty and the Beast. No, uh, sorry. I'm not I'm not thinking of the main, but like the kind of the sub, the little subordinate enemies that the were frogs? like- The frogs? The yeah, frogs! Yeah, 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 yeah. So like favorite main like crew, bit bad antagonist crew, and then the favorite subordinate yeah. type. I don't even know what you call it. Um, the ads. Super. <laughs> favorite super soldier. Like There like you that, go. Yeah. Favorite super soldier. Yes, yes. <laughs> And Dougals is here. What's up, Dougals? Thank you. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five is weirdly an entry point and a conclusion at the same time. I have heard people who had started with yeah. Five and then went back to play everything. I Wonder what that perspective is like. Curious. I feel like you can definitely enjoy it, sure. no matter what. Like yeah. no matter what your your um, previous knowledge is. But of course, when you kind of have the the history and the the knowledge of the previous games leading up to it, you it might helps, you yeah. might get a little bit. You'll get a little bit more out of it. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, I can't imagine like the, the pause stuff would be a little bit. Confusing. Yeah, some stuff you're just gonna have to accept. Accept that you won't <laughs> understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, wings with the incredibly sweet words. I've watched Thank a lot of so people much. play the series. No one did a better job than you two so far. It's been great. Uh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> I'm glad I'm no I'm I'm glad you think that. I just feel like <laughs> Outer Heaven has entered the chat. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, there, there there's like every people watch Twitch and YouTube let's plays for different reasons. Sure, sure, sure. And people play games in different ways when mm. they stream it, you know? Yeah. And we've kind of carved out our own little thing with most of these games mm. where I was the tour guide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You were fresh. Yeah. And then we had each other to kind of discuss stuff. And uh, Wings liked that. And Wings and liked that. So that for that specific top pick, style, we appreciate you. being your favorite. So sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Honestly, the tapes were my salvation considering this was my first uh, game of the series. I completed it. Uh, oh. Completed. Ah, okay. So Ash. That makes sense. Is, is, yeah. The tapes. The tapes, dude. For sure. And I'm, glad, I'm so happy to hear that you embraced the tapes. Embrace the tapes. Took us a while to... We were just worried about yeah. the pacing of the stream, you know? Yeah, like yeah. Like 10 minutes of gameplay with 50 minutes of uh, like tape listening Us listening to hour. a podcast. Exactly. Kind yeah. of. Parasites versus frogs. That's right. Yeah. Favorite pissing pants scene. Whoa, dude. <laughs> write it down, Golf. Wri write it down. Save it for later. <laughs> the Genome Soldiers. Genome Soldiers, Gerlukovich Army. Genome Soldiers is, is which type? And of just one. Oh, they were called Genome Soldiers. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's yeah. right. I... Yeah, I, for I forgot the. Uh, yeah, the Liquid the wanted, you know, big big boss's body to kind of make the that's Genome right. Soldiers oh, that's right, that's right. Um, hey, Raptor, didn't fall asleep before the start of the stream this week. Raptor, yeah, really well, I mean, are you just sleep deprived then? Raptor, Raptor. get some coffee. Get some coffee. <laughs> the Metal Gear Solid franchise is thirty five years old. That's insane. It is pretty crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> there is a thing, cap in caps. A lot of us are going to want. Uh, you guys to watch, but I'll ask later. Okay. If you want to check it out or in the Doobie Freaking stream, Merc. We'll see. We appreciate your consideration and we will see for sure. For sure. We'll keep it in mind. Oh, and Dougal's similarly found our uh, playthroughs of Metal Gear Solid on YouTube. They are definitely one of my favorites. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Dougal's. That's so kind appreciate of you to that. say, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> Blossom, thank you for being here. Our lovely mod petition for Audrey to be a tour guide in the Kingdom Hearts playthrough. It would be the blind leading the blind. Like, I, I'm like, I, I So, just, and then some stuff happens, and then all, all of a sudden we see this character. Yeah. Did you watch that Disney movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, it would, I would be okay, but a lot of it, I'm just like, just believe in the heart <laughs> of the cards, just believe in light, just believe in, uh, you know. Believe in your friends, and and that that's that's why 
the magic happens. Don't yeah. think about it too much, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and thank you for that, Blossom. Kojima podcast in Death Stranding 2? Like, As in the podcast might exist in the game? As like tapes? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that, really? Oh my God, that'd be so funny. Wait, do we need to play Death Stranding? Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Uh, but thank you again all so much for being here. And Blossom, um, the answer is yes. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Blossom, yeah, we're all set. Uh, coffee stopped working, and uh, thank you so much, Raptor, for that's the right. congrats. Um, yes, I did. Shout out to Audrey. Shout out to me. Yeah, two nights ago, and Audrey's solo oh. stream of Earthbound, she mm. finished the game. I Pretty did. awesome. You you finally have Earthbound under your belt. I do. So I can say that I played Earthbound. Yeah. Maybe I used save states. Maybe I took advantage it. of rewind. You played it. You know, but I still played it. Maybe you played I can't. It in 2022. I can't stand with amongst the cool, uh, you know, the cool OG, OG yeah. kids. But you know, I'm here. She's here. Um, no promises, Mark. Trademark. That's our trademark. No promises. Mm -hmm. I still have hope for Metal Gear Rising streams. Maybe no promises, but no you know. promises. We'll see. No promises. Anthony must have cringed <laughs> at that compression moment. Yeah. And no, it Blossom, was immersive. It, was, it immersive. was immersive for sure. But I checked our local recording too, which is uh, double the bitrate Blossom. Uh, and it was still crunchy. crunchy. I'll take a screen grab and post it on the Discord so you guys can see how crazy compressed it was. And King is here. Hola, how you doing, King? Hey, we are King. getting started. Welcome back with metal gear solid 5 tonight very excited yeah, yeah. metal gear survive on april april fool's day that's the um multiplayer game. multiplayer yeah post kojima it's not like a battle royale is it it's, it's just, survival oh survival survival yeah. oh i see i see, I see. but I mean, you probably don't remember anything but maybe know, maybe we can watch a trailer so you understand don't tell audrey anything oh, right now about me. survive okay but um <laughs> You've certainly seen it, but now you have some context that might help you understand what it is. Oh, yeah. If I watched it without context, I, I probably just appreciated Deleted. it for what it is. There's so many things in my life where it's like that. I'm like, oh, this is cool. I don't know what any, any of it means, but I like it. Neat. So now, yeah, yeah, neat. Um, yes, and King, I did finish yeah, Earthbound. Yeah, she did. Yes, I did. Uh, Nave platinumed Metal Gear Solid Five twice. That's sweet. There's so twice. much to do in this game. Such a fun game, and it didn't age a day. I've never it done that in my life. I've it's like never... 2015, right? This game. Wow. Right. Almost Wait. Please correct me. On PlayStation 3, it came out 2015. Metal Gear Solid 5. Th the PlayStation 3. Yeah. How come? I'm... 2015. Was it like what 2015 happened? Ground Zeroes, and then like 2016? What? Phantom Pain. What was the? I remember looking it up. It was like a. Oh, the other direction. 2014. Ground Zeroes. Dang. Wow. Holds up. Wow. Wild. <laughs> There's no day foolish enough for Metal Gear Survive. Why are we? Yep. But Bigfoot, Metal Gear Survive, best in the series. All right. Yeah, Platinum twice. I've never Platinumed a game ever. I know Anthony has. Uh, Only two games. Two. Only two games. But then has anyone Platinum game twice? That's wild. That's awesome. Yeah. Ground Zero is 2014. Phantom Pain. Okay, okay. Wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, Merc has a fly, five playthroughs. That's impressive in itself. I've never played through a game gotcha, five times. Yeah, or yeah I imagine times. that's that's really special because like mm -hmm. you hundred percent a game. If you do revisit it, you maybe just want to you know, you know sightsee and see the things you like. Yeah. But to do cool. everything again, that's mm -hmm. that's cool. Yeah. That's a great expression of your love for the game for that sure. That is. <laughs> uh, there's a moment in Metal Gear Solid Four where right in flashbacks, April thirtieth with Rose King Kong. And I have to think, out of all the moments in that game, Audrey, it must have confused your brother the most. That's right, because we, we said before that Audrey's brother uh, played Metal Gear Solid 4 I, as his first game. Yeah, Blossom, I'm so happy you remember that. And yeah, that was his first game. Yeah, so he's like, what? I'm pretty sure a similarly the like to, to the sentiment I just described, just like, all right, cool stuff. Cool. All right, cool cool vampire dude and uh, cybernetic ninja yeah. fight. Nice, you know? Sweet. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. All right, we should dive in. All right, let's dive in. So we don't know how much more is left in this game. Um, as usual, I did a bunch of off-stream um, playing. I just did the side ops. I've 
we now have no more new side ops to do. I was too intimidated to try any of the more challenging main ops, like the uh, total stealth, extreme subsistence ones. Um, they're scary for me. Maybe I'll do them one day. Um, I did some FOB event things. Cool. Got some points and purchased some S plus soldiers. Nice. Um, that's pretty much it. Also, as usual, I screened the cassette tapes. I summarized a few, and then we have a few to um, uh, listen to with Audrey. Cool. And then what's on the itinerary today? Um, we have another main op to do, 46. Okay. But before we do that, I think we want to check on pause. Mm, okay. Um, I don't think we have any more photos to show her, but on the list of photos in yeah. like our encyclopedia or whatever documents yeah there's one more spot for another photo yeah but i haven't received another side op to acquire it so i'm going to check on pause all right and then if you guys have any more vague non-spoilery suggestions of things we might want to consider doing mm. before we do main op 46 Ooh. let us know because i kind of get a little vibe that some people have things they want us to experience what's up before with that. number 46 what's going on um, but we're probably going to hop in and go over the uh, cassette tapes first. Yeah. Oh, Bigfoot, you're all good. Thank you so much for <clears throat> popping in to say hi. And thank you for, for the, the well wishes. Thank the, you. Yeah, good luck wishes, Bigfoot. We'll catch you later. Catch you later. Have a good night. Um, Phoenix, <laughs> thanks for being here. I like to pre pretend there wasn't a Metal Gear Survive. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. I love it. And mm -hmm. that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> Everyone's like a little nervous when when yeah. we say Metal Gear Survive. Wh what Metal Gear? I oh I, I just <laughs> and they get taken away by Kojima or something. <laughs> um. All right. Um. How how did you like the FOB mission? Uh, it took me a little bit to figure out exactly what was going on, but I've only really done the event ones, wings, because I'm mm. too chicken. Because you can't be mm. retaliated against when it's just the computer. That's fine. Yeah. I'd probably do that too. You can play as Quiet slash Ocelot. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I saw that as an option. Yeah. Yeah. Did oh. you just play as Snake? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I believe tapes and checking on pause should cover it. But maybe okay. someone else has a suggestion. Maybe we'll, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And then yeah. if we need uh, a little bit of guidance, then we'll uh, we'll definitely we'll let look you guys know. Chat. Yeah. Thank Sounds you. Good. All right, let's hop in. All right. Base. Let's take one quick look. Oh, he's looking pretty. What? Oh, wait, has he always had the scars on his yeah, face? Yeah. Oh, God, I don't know why. Out of the I, coma. I, yeah, I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> we haven't checked these pictures in quite a while. Apologies for the potential motion sickness as I look around. Oh, good. Yeah. So some of these did pile on as we did specific yeah, missions. Yeah, there was nothing here at the very beginning yeah. of the game, right? Is that all Yeah. And I think Skullface there, too. Oh. We got a picture of Skullface. Nice. Oh, there's a picture of In Huey. Huey. Let's just. Oh. oh, that's the bionics researcher. Oh, nice. We need a picture of that guy in the uh, quarantine area. The one who like. The snail guy. The, s the snail guy. Yeah. What, what a hero. Well, oh, what was his name? I, I, I think Did he, he have a name? I don't remember if he had a name actually, but. Man, that guy. We were actually talking about that. We were going to dinner the other night. We we're like, that guy was a true hero. Who was that guy? That to guy like record that stuff on tape. Oh my! The first and only time we ever see that guy in the game, he was able to, like, he was infected with this parasite. Was able to kind of snap have out the of it a little. Sense of mind. The sense of mind to like stop himself, acknowledge what was happening to him. Like, kind of like meditative. Like, like mm -hmm. this is happening to me. I I can't do this. And now let me try to help people in the future, you know, or yeah. hopefully someone will find this. And I'm like, oh my, moose! Yeah, vengeful moose. Ven oh, that's what it was, vengeful moose. Oh my also, God. I think the quiet photos are gone, dude. Wait, what? There were photos of quiet here. They're gone. Is that where that ga that little space was? Yeah, this whole right <gasps> side had photos of quiet, right? Wait, what? Is it just to erase her from the history books? Wait, what? That's just my guess. But why? I don't know. Who? I don't know. She Maybe she took that? him. Also, I like this bottom photo. Snake and D-Dog. Oh, I love, love that. It. Oh, speaking of. 
Oh my doggy. god. Oh. Come on. Right into my heart. Uh, right. Okay. Um, all our guys. Yeah, Merc. The huge group shot. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cassette tapes. Um. I'm no snail. That's right. Yeah. All right. So just a, a short one we'll listen to. Okay. Uh, questioning Huey 7. Sounds good. Hey, Gustavo. Thanks for being here. Picking up Emmerich's work. So just a quick uh, follow-up now that Emmerich is gone. Cool. The R&D team's going to take over Emmerich's work. Nice. He may be gone, but it won't affect us one bit. Nice. We'll be able to deliver whatever you need just like before. You can depend on that. One other thing. I'm tracking his whereabouts. Nothing to report at the moment, though. Let it go. He's gone. The guy's gone. I know. I just want to be sure. Not like I'm losing sleep over this son of a bitch. Hmm. Yeah. Do you feel... Do you feel like... He's kind of a loose end that... Dude, loose ends. But... If but there were no loose ends, there wouldn't be any more sequels. A loose end, but somehow Snake feels kind of like... Nonchal okay with that. Nonchalant about it. Nonchalant, almost? but he's like, it is what it is kind of vibe. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a little unusual, I think. It right? is, yeah. Like, no, we need to... I feel like he'd usually be... I mean, I think it's not unreasonable mm -hmm. to question boss's judgment. He has a freaking mm -hmm. spike stabbing his brain. That's true. Where he we has this reputation that. and this uh, air of authority around him. Maybe his diamond dogs won't question him. But we as players certainly can question the character. Yeah. I think yeah. it's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Shout out to the amazing voice work. Last stream. Cause it was killed incredible. It. So good. Call it Cass, Seriously. Cause hold the right, so. We rewatched that part of the cutscene. It was really good. Is that Huey in the room with us right now? No. What? <laughs> you mean IRL? or <laughs> Huey's on the raft. Yeah. He's gone. Okay. Uh, let me check the tapes. I have. Hey, Rafa. Can't stay. That's totally all right. We'll all catch good. Up on the Thanks for checking in. Oh, we appreciate you so much, Rafa. And we, I plan to Thanks, enjoy Rafa. today's stream. Thank you. Okay. Um, I summarized two of the tapes. Just, I'm just going to describe it to you. Um, one is more Code Talker, a.k.a. Slow Talker. Yeah, Gustavo, we're still working on Metal Gear Solid Five, so stay tuned. So a lot of these are like tapes that make the subtle connection of all the themes in the game right. much less subtle. Uh, it's like the characters directly talking about yeah. the themes of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of funny in that way. Hmm. They're talking about you know, the concept of, you know, a thirst for vengeance. Yeah. They're con talking about the concept of uh, parasites. Yep. And uh, weaponizing language, right? Yep. The characters are constantly talking in these tapes about these themes, connecting them, citing examples in the stories and the characters. Yeah. About how all these things are connected. Yeah. And this is just yet more examples of that. But yeah. in this one, Code Talker talks about the concept of super organisms. And he previously believed that Diamond Dogs as an organization was like a super organism. Oh. Uh, like ants and bees, where the whole colony behaves like a single organism. Yeah. However, he now believes he is wrong, but that Diamond Dogs may be more of a true super organism than ants or bees, wherein the uh, individuals within it are homogeneous. Um, Diamond Dogs is special in that we all bring our separate, unique backgrounds to complement each ah. other. Okay. So, a little bit about that, the concept of uh, superorganisms okay. and how it relates. Nice. Um, uh, there's another category. What happened in the laboratory? How long was that uh, tape? It was like four minutes. <laughs> superorganisms. This is talking about the, um, the lab where we had to shoot our own people, right? Oh, yes. I think these two tapes were before the mission or during it. And then this next one is after. Okay. So this one, mutation in the laboratory. Let me just read what I wrote. Despite those in the lab being cured by the Wolbachia, just mm -hmm. a reminder, the Wolbachia is the bacteria yep. that forces the vocal cord parasites, the male parasites, to change to female. 
rendering them the the mating pairs unable to reproduce. Right. Right. Um, however, it seems like the Wolbachia that it was the Wolbachia that mutated, not the parasites. Oh. Um, they ended up developing a different reproductive method, parthenogenesis, just like aphids in real life. Okay. Which are able to reproduce as female only, rapidly creating mm. clones. Aphids typically do that in response to an abundance of resources mm. to eat it all up by just being able to rapidly reproduce. Wow. Female only. So they're, they're thinking it happened. Clones, That's what happened. you say. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um, Interesting. Um, parasites controlling people. You were Audrey Kotaker impression. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it was Kaz talking to Kotaker here. Symptomatic infected all wanted to go outside. Parasites yeah. altering host behavior is common in nature. Yeah. I'm not a snail, said that researcher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There exists a parasitic worm that uses snails. There it is. As an intermediary host. Yeah. Snails prefer dark environments, but the parasites make them want to be in the light. The worms also wiggle into the snail's antenna, making them swell up and wiggle, attracting birds like their um, caterpillars or something, mm. which is their true ultimate destination slash host, birds. Got it. Uh, plenty of other similar examples in nature. They talk about them. Like a parasite th that goes in a mantis makes the mantis drown because the parasite likes to lay eggs in water. Mm. Um, it seems like potentially both the Wolbachia and the vocal cord parasites must have mutated, which is incredibly rare. Unless there was some sort of powerful mutagen. Mutagen as a source of mutation. Like the radiation? From the... Uh, the machines. Well, the machines, yeah. yeah. So there's that. It all checks out. Okay. Um, vengeance. Oh, uh, thirst for vengeance, parasit parasitizing the mind. This is like a most clear example of what I was just talking about earlier. Okay. Cause thanks Code Talker for all his help saving the soldiers and figuring out what happened hmm, with nice. the parasites. Yeah. Cause regrets spreading fear, the fear of spies <gasps> among the we Diamond Dog soldiers. We were talking about this. We were, yeah. Wow. Code Talker also regrets becoming obsessed with revenge against the English language and developing the vocal cord parasites, mm. which allowed him to be used by Skullface. Mm -hmm. Both of them were infected with the parasite revenge. Oh, here we go. And the end of the tape had um, Kotaker say, we must not allow that thirst for revenge to control us. Hello? So this is just yet one example of a lot of the conversations in the tapes just tying together. It's all symbolic. In there's literal parasites. There's a lot of symbolic. metaphor and yeah. themes and philosophical mm. things. But in the tapes, the characters talk about all these things in very plain, easy to understand words. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Hey, Malice. That's it for the remaining tapes. Wait. Oh, but we have some to listen to. Rabies is similar to. too. Even it's a virus. Yeah, rabies. Yeah. I think uh, side super effect thirsty, is the. Right? Oh, I thought it was a fear of water. Oh, fear of water. My bad. Yeah, my bad. they get like, like people who get infected with rabies get like suddenly very fearful of water. I've totally seen that, Malice. Yeah. Thanks for being here, by the way. Thank you. And yeah, burger time before the mission. Not super important. May as well. Oh, I we're mean. doing it. Oh, we're doing it. So we have two it. tapes burger? to listen to. One Let's is a pause diary. That's not just And one is a burger. The uh, burger. Burger moment. Burger time. And that's it. Let's do it. You ready? Which one do you want to do first? Pause's diary or the bur hamburgers? Let's Last do time you do burgers first. Last time you did burger first. Okay, let's do pause's diary first. Or no, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Burger time. <laughs> oh, burger time then. Let's the ultimate it. hamburger. Yeah. We're ready for 30 minutes of Code Talker? Stop. I'm what if it is? Oh, no, Rise oh, and shine, old timer. It is complete. I had our best and brightest working overtime, fine-tuning the greatest burger the world has ever known. Call it the Big Mac. I call it oh. the Chemical Burger. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sound effect. Is the color. <laughs> now, don't judge a burger by its color. Uh oh. Go on, try it. What color I is it? <laughs> not very hungry. What? Oh, I get it. Now, sure, it's loaded with additives, but each one's been approved by the WHO for human Oh wow! Okay. Come on, <laughs> one little bite's not gonna kill you. Are you sure of that? Hmm. Fine. He's like, I'm loving it. 
<laughs> well, what do you think? It's... 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 It is perfect. Oh right? my god. Right? This takes me back to the taste of my youth. <laughs> the neon signs on the mother road. Oh, I can see them now. So, what do you think of our signs now? And it doesn't just taste great. You won't believe how cheap <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god. And because it's pumped up with preservatives, it won't spoil easily in regions lacking refrigerated storage or transportation infrastructure. This bad boy could even solve Africa's hunger problem. Excuse me. People will no longer fight over food or find reason to hate one another. Mankind will come together, <laughs> reunited between these fluffy oh my buns. Goodness. Pax Americana. Say hello to Pax Hamburgana. Pax <laughs> Hamburgana. Skullface thought that destruction was the way to free the peoples of the world from American imperialism. But this is different. Tackling something head-on just makes for more conflict. Only by uniting the world can its various inhabitants truly become free. I mean... Having lived as an American parasite as long as I have, I know what I'm talking about. The chemical burger is poised to be the greatest liberating force the world has ever known. An ethnic liberator. Oh. Burger. <laughs> now, <all laughs> dot, 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 brand image. Yeah, Jordan McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. I'll catch you later. Oh my god. I don't know if you remember, but in Metal Gear Solid 1, when Miller was introduced. He was McDonald Miller. Ah. Long time ago. Okay. Me. Immediately after this tape should be that di diarrhea tape that, uh. Yeah. So this was like, it turns out this tape was of Code Walker the whole time. Oh Code Talker. Chemical burger. Oh God. That was Code Talker this that whole was. time. Now we know. We got the tapes out of order. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, that's right. Are oh my God, it's so good. All right, uh, Paz's diary. More sad, bittersweet vibes. Ready? Okay. I finally had a decent draft of the lyrics, so I showed them to Professor Galvez first. He liked them. He said I had done a superb job capturing the sense of a young girl's troubled heart. There were one or two lines I thought needed brushing up. So although he said lyrics aren't my specialty at first, he gave me some advice. Everything he said made perfect sense. When I tried putting in his changes, they made the song feel deeper, more sincere. That is the professor for you. He always has the answer. With the lyrics finished, I was ready to show Miller. He does not often take things seriously, but all of a sudden, he was saying, Paz, you have <laughs> the soul of an Enka songwriter. And I did not even listen to Enka all that much. Maybe I am pretty talented after all. But still, it took so much time to write the lyrics that there is hardly any time left to rehearse before peace day. The three of us rushed into the makeshift practice studio on Mother Base to see how we sounded together. Miller strummed away with a big smile on his face. I sang the main melody, and Professor Galvez improvised a backup melody. I know the professor is smart, but is there anything he cannot do? To escape Mother Base? Yeah. <laughs> a lot better Got now him. that he stopped singing. But I could hardly criticize his voice. I thought I had learned the song well enough listening to the tape as I wrote the lyrics, but I had trouble with the pitch and kept missing the rhythm. I have to practice, but there is almost no time left. It is just three days until peace day. Wait. Uh -oh. I thought there were three days left before. Oh. I went and checked today's date with Miller and the professor. The date has not changed. It is the same day. Huh? Something is strange. Wait, what? Am I reliving the same day? <laughs> oh, I love it! What? So, I mean, I figured she was making these tapes now. Yeah. But that was kind of like... Oh, okay, dude, okay. That I was, love that. I, uh, I didn't even think about how that could be... 
how these tapes existed. Like I thought maybe yeah. I don't know. I thought maybe again maybe it was all in Snake's head. And just you know, yeah. but now it seems like wow, she actually maybe she actually did. Maybe she's snapping out of it. There's something or everyone's snapping out. I mean, of she's it. been behaving. I'm the angel of peace. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. it's like unraveling. Stuff's unraveling. Oh, I love it. Here. It's like spooky, you know. It is. Oh. Could you have wanted Peace Walker to be titled Metal Gear Solid Five, but decided not to because it's a portable game, mm. including Peace Walker, Ground Zeroes, and Phantom Pain all make the Five trilogy? Oh. I have heard people consider Peace Walker Five. I can uh-huh. see that. It's integral to the story. At We're least going to Mother Base now, right? Ta- yeah, and we want to talk to Pause first, right? I'll go to medical then. Hey, Fry Sauce, you're you're fine. You're right on time as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you didn't welcome. miss anything. We just um we just. Wanted to uh, listen to some of the tapes. Anthony kind of curated a list of the ones we should listen to before actually heading into the into the I don't know the main mission, uh, the next main mission. So uh, we listened to those, and now we're gonna go check in with Paws. We're trying to. Um, we still have one photo on the list still missing. Yeah, so I'll show you guys on the list. Yeah, we're trying to uh, figure out how to initiate that side quest. So we have an idea. So we're gonna try that now. Um, so don't worry about uh, anyone having to explain it just yet. I think I think we kind of have it. So. Yeah. Yeah. How's the mission list going? What's next? What's I can show you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony, will show us right now. All right. So real base. We're uh, and real, again, real quick. Please don't spoil anything. Yeah. Don't tell us anything. We have ideas, but please don't spoil. Uh, look. There's one last slot here. Don't know how to get it because we haven't gotten the side op. Because, you know, usually there's a side op to get those. And then for the main ops, let me check it once we get off. Um, I haven't done any of these hard mode ones. But we have this one. 46. So we're going to do that after checking in on Wait, pause. what the heck? What? Did you see the description for that mission? I thought you read it last time. I don't think I remember reading that. Wait, did I read that? I feel like you did, but maybe it didn't absorb. Wait. wait. Okay. Well, I don't remember it. It didn't process. There's no tape or anything. You got used to this place? Uh, Okay, don't say. Don't say anything. First, I'm going to see here. Has anything changed? Oh. Quite so. Oh, any like oh, message or note or something? What was leave a note? Uh, Peace Walker was an issue. Uh, internally titled Metal Gear Solid Five. The mm. five was dropped when it was publicly announced. Gotcha. gotcha. Mm-hmm. Same here. Did most people in in or most fans uh, understand that Peace Walker was kind of was almost like required reading before going into? Metal Gear Solid 5? I feel like fans knew. They knew. Okay, fans. Whereas casual observers thought maybe it was like a side game. I get that. I totally get that. Same with what do you guys think? Same with Kingdom Hearts. Same with Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Birth by Sleep, definitely required. Chain of Memory? It's a main game. It's a portable game, but not a numbered game. And But that I would kind of almost consider that required. Gustavo, it is. Send me out the answer is yes. That's right, Kusava. We just looked at it, and again, no spoilers, everybody. Uh oh, uh oh, different reaction, right? Oh no, no, same reaction. Sorry, I forgot she always dropped oh. that thing. Oh, we can look at the file though. No, I just picked up the book. Or the book? She just dropped it. Oh, I thought it was a file for some reason. Okay, never mind. Thank you. No, she, this is like a textbook. Okay. With Galvez on the bake. So I'm so, n- I'm so like anxious, like something's gonna explode. Is that it? Nothing. Maybe when you leave, there will be something? You will come back, right? Oh, dear. Nothing. All right. Okay. All right, so according to what we previously said... Um, that was it, and we're just going to do 46 now. Unless you guys have other vague, non spoilery recommendations of things we should do before we do 46. Yeah. Seems like La Bamba might 
Okay. If you need us to do like a side <laughs> op and come back, I'm open to that too. Let us know. Malice found ca uh, Kaz's ad for his new burger. It's on the Discord. Oh. Thanks, Malice. We're going to have to check it out. Quiet cell is quiet, Ash. Play, playing, please, oh, sorry. playing Peace Walker definitely helps. There is something. Definitely. Okay. Just as long as you guys can be as careful as possible to not spoil anything. That's right. We appreciate it. Dedicated Remember our duo thing. streams. We're not trying our. We're not trying to do everything or do. Be the best at the game. We just want to try to experience as much of the story as possible. Oh, but last in the last stream, Anthony got an amazing headshot on a on the helicopter pilot, which I, was really fun. You yeah. guys gave me the idea. I miss I missed it because I was w looking at chat, but uh, we looked at the vod later, and I was like, dang, pretty sweet. You guys said there is something. Um, oh. oh, 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 is it this? Sneaky! Sneaky! How did, did they say? Did someone say? Just look around or something? What the heck? How did you find that? I just saw the uh, button prompt. Oh my gosh! Well freaking done, Wing says. Oh. Wait, can you see what it is in the photo? Can you see what it <coughs> is? Behind? Does oh, it look like a beach? Hmm? I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, I can't tell. Yeah, Morvo, the pilot from Ground Zeroes. I see what you kind of mean, like like a shore. Like yeah. Where the... I mean, it was in the list of photos. I don't know if it's related to this. <gasps> okay. Oh, no, right. no, 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 no. I'm scared. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this. Stay away. Pass. I don't like it. My stomach is turning. Hers is too, dude. Oh, so, oh god. So. <laughs> Maybe stop her? Sounds in that were unsettling. Oh no, are we back? Wait, no. They've used the butterfly. The symbol? Oh yeah, they've used the butterfly imagery for her before. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's from Peace Walker. There's butterflies all yeah, over. Yeah, that's right. I remember. I remember. <gasps> this song's nice. This song is nice. Oh, there was like a little silhouette. Did you see that? Oh, did there's, I miss it? There's like a sil. Oh, right again. You mean a shadow? There's like a silhouette of a butterfly. Oh. Like an outline, like a light outline. Where? On on the screen, like. Oh, like a vignette? The entire screen? No, no, no. Just oh. like... Wait. Is that just me? Is Audrey Did tripping? Other people say that? Someone clip it and show me later. Okay, maybe... I'll, I'll look at it later, too. But Blossom, it gives me Silent Hill vibes, too. Like I the totally end. see oh. that. Exodent, my eyes! Exodent. <laughs> what a time yeah. <laughs> to watch. But, oh, uh. Sorry, I miss all the things. What did it say we just got? Oh, I think we just I got did, a sorry, tape, right? Oh, we did? Or all the tapes gone. What's going on? Just the tape? Thank you. You paused tape. Charlie challenged you. us. Okay. That was intense. Absolutely. And yeah, Blossom. 
I did not expect to see something so gross. Have not watched most of the Metal Gear Solid Five streams. They, they've had moments like that, especially in Ground Zeroes. But they've yeah, had moments like that days. where it's like kind of like, I don't know, kind of, mm, I don't like, gross and unsettling, gross. It's not gore, is it? It's like graphic body horror. Body gore, maybe. Body horror. Body horror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Things like that. All right, I'm, I'm ready. Full immersion. We might miss some chat while this is going. Ready? All right, let's do it. Peace day never came. Every morning I wake up expecting it to come. But it is always three days away. That cannot be it. I have not woken up at all. It is just a dream. It is all a dream. I am in it. And you are in it too. Whoa. I am the dreamer. But you are having my dream. Do you get it now? You do. Don't you? Peace day. Never. Came. With three days left, I followed my orders from Cypher and launched the operation. I hijacked Zeke. I fought Snake. I lost and was thrown into the ocean. I survived, but I was captured by Cypher. How happy I would have been if they had let me die then and there. Our wishes do not come true. We just cling on to our dreams. Our phantoms. Mine. And yours. But I think this one is coming to an end. After all, you have figured it out now. You can kill Skullface, murder Huey, slaughter Zero, burn the whole world down. Oh, but he still won't bring me back. Me, or any of the dead. And that was our business. War. We bought our daily bread with money paid to us for killing. Maybe us getting killed was just balancing the scales. You know, Mother Base was never the heaven we wanted it to be. But I was still happy to have lived with everyone there. It was such a short time. Such a hypocritical peace. But while I was on Mother Base, I was happy. So... I hope I am not the only one who looks back on those days with happiness. There is more to remember than hatred and rage. But of course, this is you thinking that I should think that. I was that. just oh. thinking that. I was just thinking no that. Now. I am just a phantom. Yeah. A fragment of the mind you have lost. Yeah. The real me mm -hmm. died a long time ago. But even so, more so, I can tell what you are really feeling. The real emotion that is locked away at the bottom of your heart. Let it fly out. Let it guide you. Live. I think it is my job to tell you that. That is why I exist. So this tape is the last one. Once you are done listening to it, I am one phantom mm. limb that will be gone for good. My flesh, my bones, joining the silt on the ocean floor. But do not forget, as long as you remember me, I will always live within mm. you. Not a phantom limb or a phantom anything, as part of your heart. I will always be your angel of peace. So, I know exactly how to finish. Say peace. Mm. That was trippy. Okay. I like it. I love it, dude. It's, yeah. It's like... It's kind of in between. Either we thought it was either real or all a dream. Yeah. And now and now it's like he's working through his his kind of yeah his grief his grief through this like his mind version of pause. Yeah. 
Uh, she's she's like telling him things about himself, but it's like in his mind. Yeah, yeah. Like, telling him his mind. Yeah, a phantom pain. Navin oh. says, like they um. I'm gonna carb. Yeah, uh, we'll carbs. Do that. Like again, what I was mentioning at the beginning of the stream. This game has some very clear themes, but they just like express it in multiple different ways through different character interactions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the concept of losing a piece of yourself Some will set and uh, still feeling it as if it was there, the phantom pain, which is a real psychological phenomenon yeah. for amputees. But to turn it into a metaphor for other things in multiple ways in the game is, is like incredible. Yeah. So for him, what was what is that metaphor? I guess like him letting go pause specifically. Letting go of pause and like I don't know what she meant for him kind yeah. of thing or is it more Because like everything leading up to um the reveal that she was a spy, mm -hmm. she was this like symbol of peace. Yeah, that's true. It was in her name. Yeah. It was in her mission that she told us. Yeah. 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 Wow. And hey, he's a shaman. This is one of my favorite moments. Whole pause arc. Yeah. It pretty was, special. I think we, we, we called it pretty early on that it was there was going to be something. Something fishy. Something fishy. I mean, yeah. it, it's pretty obvious. Like the way they set it up. It's like, no, you were dead. It's like, no, we got the bomb. And this whole like redo of that that whole scene from Ground Zeroes. Mm -hmm. So we're like, what is going on? Yeah, but still, that? but still, yeah, the whole, um, the way it the way it concludes is really beautiful. Uh, okay, so I just want to, I might be skipping ahead in chat. Yeah, fry sauce and gulf of mail, letting go of the idea of peace. Peace is not an option anymore. Right, okay. So the symbolism of, of that. Yeah, because she was, it paused in his mind, was saying, you can you can kill all these people, but what, it, what I guess, gonna bring, yeah. what is that going to bring? But war is our business. Yeah. <laughs> So I like that. Oh. Sorry, and um, where were you in chat? Um, a little bit back. Um, King says they missed this on their first playthrough. Mm. Never checked the med bay and missed all this wow. um, story. Yeah, I think I didn't realize it was completely missable. I thought maybe we had got it earlier than. Yeah, it indicated. was just the side up stuff. Yeah. Because it showed it in the tra in that little uh, after ch you beat chapter one, it shows that. It shows yeah, pause I wonder in that. if it would have like not that. showed it. I wonder. I wonder. So. Yeah, and um, Blossom, regarding the cassette tapes, people did recommend and suggest and said that they did it um, early on. Is that when you're just grinding the side ops, you can listen to the tapes. Like, um, if I go to the cassette tapes, like I play a music one. Yeah. Love deterrence, for example. Mm. I can just go about my business, right? And there's even effects for it, like I can change where it's playing, like I can have it play on a speaker, and that means the characters mm. around me can hear it too. I think so it's we, also a tool. We decided because we want to be Present. paying attention to uh, to some of the cassette tapes, so it's kind of hard for Anthony to to uh, you know get play those headshots and listen. and listen. So I didn't want to miss anything yeah. in the tapes, so we decided on stream we'll just focus on the tapes while we're listening to them. All good. Win this way. Oh, there's no other way to get to this platform. Oh, what? Yeah, Venom Snake regrets the fact that he couldn't save Paws. Definitely. I think, I thought that's where my, I, 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 I appreciate the metaphor at the end, but at initially that's what I thought. I thought like Snake was like in this crazy denial mm -hmm. and, you know, because of the, the, um, that, that, like that thing sticking on his mm -hmm. visual cortex. I was like, oh, he's so in denial, and now he's gonna hallucinate that he did all of the that he was able to save her. But then there was kind of a message at the end. was was nice. Uh, real quick, this last photo. Uh huh. Is it just always right there on the wall? Oh. Is yeah. that just where it is for everybody? Um, and were you guys just trying to find a non-spoilery way to tell me to look at the wall? Which wall or is was it? Is this the wall? It was, like, it was like right. So what happened is I didn't see the photo. Oh. I just walked back, walked through, and I saw the button prompt. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you, guys. There it is. Yes, it's on the wall. And yes, once you reach the final stage of the quest, it appears. Yeah, gotcha. It appears after you collect everything else. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. I'm going to press it. Ready? Do it. Let's see. 
That's Nothing. It. Yep. Work in progress. That sign wasn't there before. Right? That wasn't that sign to the side. There is also one there. It's uh, it's uh, around okay. the base. Yeah, yeah. Construction. All right. Okay. Um. Anything else for me to do before we do uh 46? <laughs> I'm one of those people. Give me that two-hour Metal Gear Solid 4 exposition, Malice. Yeah. I mean, they are also like visually amazing and entertaining. Don't get me wrong, Metal Gear Solid 2's ending is like my favorite thing ever, Blossom. It is so good. Roger. Yeah, doing that, doing stuff with tapes playing can get a little nutty. It's not the best system. I droid plus guards talking plus the game. I think, yeah, we did kind of encounter that early on when we were trying to listen to the we tapes. We tried to do it. But, uh, Kaz, or was it Ocelot were, was also trying to give instruction. Yeah. So the, the like, subs the would hell? disappear, and then, you know, the things were, so many things were happening, so yeah, it was a little... Since I played this before Peace Walker, I had no reference of betrayal from Paz. <gasps> so I just thought it was some innocent kids who got tortured? Dang. Wait, so then you went to you went into Peace Walker and you were like, wait, she was a spy? Wait, oh that is really interesting. Wow, dude. That is some a innocent kids innocent kids getting tortured. Oh dude, that's brutal. Frysauce got set up in a way that made Frysauce believe one thing, but then it ended up that's, that is interesting. Oh, the part doesn't show on the map? Um, I think oh, Plaza and Metal Gear Solid 5 has a few parallels to Sunny and 4. Both live on the inside. A uh, hypocritical piece. Hypocritical piece. Hypocritical, hypocritical piece. Oh, I see that. I see that. I don't know, at least on as a... Um, yeah. foreshadowed by ambient mother base dialogue when snake staring off randomly at the under construction areas oh do i want to see examples of that oh wait what i think yeah okay most people can do good in combat while listening to the causes burger tapes but the most profound tapes with deeper topics, it's better to take a time and just listen yeah burger tapes even Bur i want to listen all tapes. i want to absorb it all the burger tapes Critical for the story. This is halfway Select selfish unit. and halfway to plug Start for people who aren't unit. already following. Any idea what's going to happen on assigned. Monday? Blossom asked. Yeah, because uh, this last Monday, Audrey <laughs> finished her solo stream I did. game. So if you guys don't know, Audrey and I share this channel. You're watching our weekly duo stream where we're both on. But we also have our own yeah. separate solo stream. So Audrey finished up Earthbound for her yes. solo stream. Um, Blossom, no. I don't know what's going to happen on Monday. Um... Thank you for the plug anyway. Um, but yeah, Monday, um, I think currently I am on the schedule to stream. I don't know what I would stream yet. So we're going to see what happens. Um, and also it's the day after Christmas. And I think I'm not sure if things are going to be, you know, our schedule might be a little bit in, f in flex. But yeah. uh, right now, tentative. I, tentative. So I, I am planning to to stream anyway. I uh, just don't know what yet. So we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. If there's any schedule changes, then... Um Here's the link to our Discord. That's what we'll, that's where we'll let you guys know. Yeah. It's not important to do. I just feel that part doesn't show up on the map, indicating the room was an illusion. Mm, okay. <gasps> You're oh, Labamba looked ahead at the spoiler intro credits. You're good after you hear someone say, "How's he doing?" Labamba yeah. looking ahead for us. Thank you. Noted. We'll we'll remember that. Carb says we should watch the credits though. Um, the way I've been doing is just hiding with my arm half the screen where it shows the names. I can still kind of watch it. Hope that's okay with you guys. Okay. Malice wants a Kojima horror game. Did, wasn't there one in the works? Sorry, say that again? Uh, Kojima a horror, horror game. <laughs> Talking about PT? PT, yeah. 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 Was that a... That, that was a... They dropped it, it was but... a demo. But yeah, it still exists, right? Okay. Drama. Drama. Uh-oh. Drama. Let's not talk about it then. <laughs> uh... Metal Gear Survive, what? I'm sorry. Hey, Dan, what's up? Sorry, I'm jumping around in chat. 
Just want to make sure we're caught up before we start the mission. Oh, Blossom, yeah. I was wondering if they travel for Christmas or not. Yeah, we're saying, we're saying local, but, mm -hmm. you know, we're, I don't know. I'm down to play games. <laughs> yeah. You got Maybe. some free time? Play some games. Yeah, right? that's right. Please select a mission. Oh, right. that's nice, Blossom. Are but we ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so we are going to, I'm going to use my arm to cover up the spoiler credits. Until we hear what? What was the phrase? How's he doing? Was that it? How's he doing? How's it going? Something. How's he doing? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What up? What up? <laughs> What's hey, up? Hey, Dan. Thanks for being here. We're, we're about to jump into this number 46 mission here, which says escape the hospital. <laughs> which I have ideas. It's called the truth and escape the hospital. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just we're replaying the whole game here from the beginning. That's what it feels like. <gasps> what if it With, is? With, like, the cloud of, um, you know misguiding us lifted i don't know okay yeah. you ready uh, skeptical with metal gear survive it didn't look good yeah dan we uh it was mentioned earlier in the stream and we're like we don't we don't talk about survive everyone in chat was like don't, we don't know what that yeah. is gustavo i'm finishing up um metroid prime soon my next stream is on oh tomorrow night oh yeah, yeah that's right sounds good <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh cause so dude Accept so this mission. Confirm me. Confirm to begin mission immediately without sorting prep. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Who needs There's sorting? No tape or anything. Okay, yeah. ready. Okay, let's do it. Route B. Let's go, Malice. <laughs> let's go. Alternate ending. Was the literal last uh, story mission the quiet? The quiet stuff. stuff yeah. Okay, so we still have. I still have got some loose ends though. Eli, it's like the biggest one. I feel like. Yeah. And kind of the whole... We're just know. doing the next main op, which seems really serious, Blossom. That's all. Next main story mission. So before this, we asked Chad if there's things yeah. we they recommend we do before this, and we just wrapped it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shh. La Bamba says... Shh. Okay, we're going to... Do gonna not confirm or deny. Remember, we yeah, like to think you. out loud. That we're was a long loading time, by the that way. That was really by long. By the way, dude. What are we playing this on? PS5, PS5 right? but it's, it's PS4 oh, mode. Oh, yeah. oh, PS4 mode. Okay. Um... Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to... Um, Do not answer our questions. We're going to yeah. speculate and think out loud. Just uh, nod and smile. I think just just so we can be in the game, in the moment, we're going to mostly focus on the game here. Yeah, we and may miss chat. We may miss chat, but um, we'll catch up with chat when uh, after some time. So talk amongst yourselves. Talk, among, talk amongst yourselves, but don't spoil anything. <laughs> okay, here we go. Please not, please smile. Exactly. Awesome. Don't you die on me, damn it. He be dropping oh. into bait now. Oh. Cardiac arrest is in BFIP. The opening. Clear. Did we see this in um at the very beginning of the game? This I think so. Okay. Yeah. That's us. No response. Hit him again. Oh, we're flatlining. Clear. Okay, so whose perspective are we watching right now? Oh, good point. Or maybe we're just a ca the cameraman. Ahab. How's he doing? How's he doing? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, he's stabilized, but it took too long. It took too long. He's in a oh. coma. Oh, okay. oh, 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 okay, okay. What I thought it might have been like... What about him? Us. Huh? He uh, took some shrapnel to the head. Wait, do we think we're Big Boss or something? What is... Oh, this song again. <laughs> okay, this is exactly the same. They have an Ishmael, right? Okay, well... What am I thinking? I Are you controlling? My brain, the camera is moving a little bit. Okay. Ishmael was watching us for nine years. Ishmael was well, do you remember in the beginning? Yeah. Like we were being escorted by Ish someone who had Ishmael. the voice and of uh, the same Big voice. Boss. We thought it was just ourselves leading ourselves out or something, yeah. right? But, but I remember Ishmael saying, I w I've been watching you for nine years. I, and we just interpreted that as like our, I don't know, some 
dis- like maybe some I don't know dissociative thing. Yeah. Like one and ent- like entity watching the other in our brain, but. This is me moving around, by the way. Cool. I, I don't remember doing this at the beginning of the game, right? I, I remember the song. Yeah, I like the idea that this is just yet another mother-based soldier that just took on the persona of Big Boss. And we're just having delusions about all this stuff. Where, there was that part where we designed a... a a face, remember that? A character? Yeah, yeah. We were like, what is this? Yeah. I thought it was just like some online multiplayer stuff. Does that come into fruition like now? Well. We got a triple hydrate from Dan. Thank you. Thank we'll you, redeem Dan. that eventually. I'll go ahead and. You will? Okay, thank you. Triple hydrate with my soda. So we're back in Cyprus here. It said Colombia, dude. Oh, wait, Colombia? It said Colombia. Colombia. Col- On the screen, it said Colombia. No longer Cyprus. Wait, originally it was Cyprus, right? Yes. Is that another British ter- like territory? <coughs> okay, this this feels pretty same. This was the opening, right? I think I remember this nurse. <coughs> she gets like stabbed, right? Not at this part. No, no. There's a there's a part where the doctor comes in and 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 um, the person's point of view they they start to like I don't know their heart rate goes up and it's like all like mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, they come in and out of. Oh yeah, in and out. That's right. Yeah, yeah of consciousness pretty often. V has come to. What is? Oh no! Was this all a simulation? V has come to. Are we an AI? We heard that in the begin to beginning as well. Oh, we did hear I think, that. I think. Are we? Are we GW? Who is me? I thought the V was referring to uh, the game. To, no, to Volgan. Oh, oh, that's an. That's what I thought. That's an interesting know. take. Do not confirm or deny. No, yeah. Let's talk out. Talk Remember, no spoilers it. in chat. Talk about I love it. We're not focusing on chat, but we may glance, so don't say anything. Yeah. You don't want us to read. Can you hear me? Same doctor. Okay, everything is pretty. Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod. If you can hear me. The lighting in this room is so beautiful. This is the, the exact. Are we playing through the game again? I'm down. Why am I kind of down too? Look up. We're just really curious about what the game wants to tell us right now. Yeah. <laughs> that grunt sounded like. <laughs> Very good. Like our snake. I don't know. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. Come on. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Yes. <laughs> this is where we I think we The voice sounds like Venom Snake It might sound different, I'm not sure <laughs> King I'm so happy you guys are starting Metal Gear Solid 5 <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite games how do you feel? So far the same. Okay, okay. Hold on. Back to the game. Flyer in mid-flight. That's the third child. The context. It's been one week since you came too. 
Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alive. Oh, I was listening. Nine years ago, you were injured <coughs> in an explosion. Maybe we were another soldier that was on the helicopter? Yeah. Because I feel like I, they, they did show like a couple people. Yeah. Or there was the medic who pulled the bomb out of... Uh, we also found fragments of human bone and human There was the soldier, the, the medic. Do you remember that? Most yeah, 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 removed. yeah. But there was also Chico. But what if we've been Chico this whole time? No, no. Still remain. No. They are located near your heart and in your skull. Look at this. Crazy, the fragments right? are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. It's wild. <laughs> we couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain Hemorrhage. Looks kind of cool, too. <laughs> Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life threatening. It looks pretty damn bad, though. One more thing this x ray is on your upper body. You better look now. Best the way the heart rate changes? Yeah. Sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be Arm, there. right? <laughs> the same still. No, Sokoma! Grigor! Try to calm down! Calm down! Please! Calm down! It's gonna be okay! Yes, yes! Calm down. Yes. Yes. Okay, so far I want to say it's exactly like the beginning, right? I'm mm -hmm. trying to remember it, but I, I don't... I can't think of any... Plastic surgery? Oh, that's right! Yeah, I remember this. It's true. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead, but you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. Who is this guy work for? He ain't no it's regular doctor. World out there. So According to what we know, to take care of first. right? I think Ocelot knows we're here, right? Oh. I think that's what I'm remembering, hiding that, us from Cypher. That makes sense. This is you, as you've lived until this day. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. Wait. Is oh, this, is this the this, opposite? This is different. This is the opposite. <gasps> really? We were just some nobody? Wait, when when they first showed who, what we looked like before, what, what showed up? I don't even remember. It was uh, Big Boss. It right? was Big Boss? I think. We have to check the tape. Don't tell us anything. Don't guys. tell us. Let us be wrong for a little while. We'll let you. We'll let you know he when we want to know for sure. Yeah. Wait. 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 That makes sense. That I'm makes vaguely sense. Vaguely remembering. Yeah. Very good. Now wait. let's remove this band. I think that's the appearance we created at the beginning. Yeah, of the game. that definitely was. And your face has healed nicely. Did they do the, the old switcheroo on us? These bandages were more for your protection, to hide you from those who want you dead. Uh oh. As of today, your name Quiet. is. Quiet. Here we go. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Are we just a decoy for, for boss? That's us. 
in the helmet, huh? Or something like that, you know? Or maybe the guy next to boss. Yeah, it's that same photo was in the helicopter and the, that part of it um, was... Oh! Yes! That photo in the helicopter was folded over. Good luck, Rini. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Everything feels all right. That photo was just in the helicopter with the little bit folded over. Oh, I lost! <laughs> yeah. Not yet. The patient in the next bed's on my face. I wonder oh, I wonder if that's that's why the DNA didn't match with Eli. <gasps> oh, you're right! You're so right. Oh my god, you're That's got well, that's why I'm wondering, like how far do we live this lie? Oh my god. Chad, do not confirm or deny. So this one's boss. Okay, I have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Call me Ishmael. Who am I? You're talking to yourself. <gasps> Did he say I've that? Over you for nine years. Did he yeah. say that Call before? Me Ishmael. Yeah. What the hell Wait, is so, going oh my on? god. Well, I don't know about this. Here in the land of the living. Bad news. The world wants you dead. <laughs> On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. <sighs> Did we hear our own character's deal. voice too? Our own character's voice is the same voice. I know, but did we hear it in the beat in the first time around? Oh. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Okay, gotcha. We did? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, I think I think you were able to Cyprus. Okay. Why did it say Columbia earlier? I don't know. Maybe Am I tripping? I don't know. Drugs not working. I think.
think I remember you were able to hear that the voices were similar when we, when we mm -hmm. first went through here. Well, it has me, like, repeatedly move the stick forward. We're getting out of here. Columbia was a helicopter crash. Oh, gotcha. Thank you, okay, okay. Thank you guys. So this whole tutorial level... I need to see how far it goes. I mean, it's probably the whole thing, but then what? So where was Ishmael this whole time, right? Because we lose him here, right? Yeah, where was Ishmael this whole time? Let's take the stairs. No, we we lose him right. at, at the end of the at the end of this whole sequence, right? right? Yeah, yeah, but like, as in he just does his own thing, he disappears, right? Yeah, yeah, he just. That's the only question. Oh, well, he he drives the ambulance, and then I, I think at some point, yeah, after the car stuff. What if he was just a soldier on the base the whole time? Just kind oh. of quietly, I don't know, pulling strings or... Uh, Could be. Trying but then what's up with us and all the pause tapes? Stuff like that, you know? Dude. They obviously didn't show that little picture moment the first time we, we played this. Yeah. Did they show us something else, or was it not at all? I think they. I think they might have showed the two photos covered, and then, and then shifted them just for this mm. part of the game. What if Ishmael was doing the real? Metal Gear Solid 5, not this Metal Gear Solid. Oh, Ahab makes you think, makes you think. Yeah, well, don't we'll tell see. Us, guys. Don't Let tell us, us. Let us speculate. What if Ishmael was the friends we made along the way? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. They were here the first time. What the hell is that? This, at this time, Volgan has. It's been like three weeks. No, it's been like two weeks. Two weeks since Awakening. Yeah, so Volgan is going to come through. Volgan is controlling or. Um, Influencing. Influencing. Yeah, right. His, his thirst for revenge brought him here. Different. I feel I don't remember the sprinklers. For some I don't reason. remember. It's been so long. It has been a long time. <laughs> maybe that was right. Yeah, maybe that was maybe, right. maybe, maybe that was right. <laughs> Blossom's so confused. Blossom. It's Metal Gear Solid 5. Lots of moments like that, a little bit. Volgan has his classic uniform here. Oh. I remember that. The balls grab her now on fire. I forgot about that. A telekinesis Pennywise, Dan. That's right. There's the Ground Zero's poster. There it is. A, telekine a telekinetic Wait, it's an ad. baby Pennywise. This is join the Fox team. Wow. Drugs kicked in. Damn, this that cosmetic surgery was quick. Um, like thorough. Or? Yeah. Oh, 
dislocated? through here the first time we you call it you called it pretty early on you were like oh maybe this is all in his mind or like this representation this figure guiding us through this hospital was in his mind yeah and that's what was, we thought yeah and it was our way of like let's go kind of gaming it like oh they're giving us a tutorial like in a way like from our like it, it would make sense this that hurry. snake would already have the skills that he has but they're tutor they're mm -hmm. making it tutorial by like, oh yeah, here's this guy Keep showing you through, down. but really it's in his mind. Yeah. But no, literally there's another person standing here. Yeah. The last time I now that we've spent some time in this game, I wouldn't immediately call this game an open world game anymore. I'd call it like a mission based open sandbox game. Mm. Yeah, 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 definitely. Ishmael has that cure menu, true. Yeah. Yeah, it works the same. Uh, despite how big the map is, I'd, I'd hardly categorize this as open world. That's fair. It's kind of like the Mario 3D games. Is that a good comparison, guys? Actually, thinking about it, that's really... I think that might be a good way to compare it. Oh, oh, Dan, it's been so much fun watching Jupy play Metal Gear Solid 4 Tuesdays, Thursdays, and you guys with Metal Gear Solid 5 on Wednesdays. Oh, man, Ju watching Jupy play Metal Gear Solid is such a treat. Like, you go into the same large open areas with different, different objectives this each time. This is just time. like Mario 64, Malice agrees. Super Snake uh, 64. I have good, heard good things about the stealth in this one. Mm -hmm. We don't know it. We don't know it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We went a little more guns blazing with this uh, playthrough. The on-stream part. The on-stream part, yes. We should clarify. Anthony off-stream was very meticulous. So so the this group here is XOF, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cypher Strike Force. At this point, Cypher we Strike believe Force. that Skullface has kind of splintered off. Right. Gameplay is super solid, for sure. It feels good to play. Hey, I mean... Help me! Oh, yeah. I don't want to die! It's kind of cool that we get to play through this again. Yeah, because we're like... In the first place, we we thought it was amazing. And now we have like this new perspective where... Where we're this... We're not actually who we thought we were. And we have an, a better understanding of what the heck's going on. We have a better this. understanding of what's going on. And we don't know what lies at the end of this. Yeah, we don't know how it's going to be different. It, it's very tense. It's like... Snake, did they have to? Uh, yeah, La Bamba, by far the best stealth gameplay, not just in the Metal Gear Solid series, but any game ever, La Bamba says. The Shaman, agreeing, best Metal Gear gameplay to date. Game feel is fantastic. Malice says, I would say this is the first Metal Gear Solid game with smooth controls, like smooth. How do you feel about that, Anthony? 
game, uh, the controls for this it game. It took me a while to get used to it, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't know if that, that if that gunman understood the request of I don't want to die. Yeah. You know. That wait, what? You want to die? Uh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> Is that what you said? Oh, here you made a note about the colors, right? Oh, that was because we were just like really injured. Yeah. It's happened again. Okay. Plot twists that recontextualize stuff are the best. Absolutely. No witnesses, Merc. That's the way to kill everyone. That may actually that makes sense. Move, yeah. Go. That Got it. That, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, skulls are not really supposed to be known. Because our understanding is they were there operating behind the scenes during uh, Operation Sneak Eater and stuff too. All right. It's like every opening to a zombie movie, <laughs> Dan. Yeah, this is. Yeah, we we commented that, like so. This is, we're coming to this again again later in the game but this was the opening of the game and when we first came through here we were like this is like a slasher horror movie uh, there's a yes. moment Get coming up there, I think that reminded me a little bit I'm a Grigola. come on yeah, and I think we've also noted if if this if that figure was in his mind, some things didn't make sense. Like how was he able to yeah. like interact we with confident. things? We weren't. But I felt like at the time it was a pretty solid theory. Do you hear that? What's going on out there? Hey! Hey! What's happening out there? Does anybody know? Hey. We should be okay. You hear them coming? Oh my lord. Oh, zoom in. I see it now. This might be the scene I'm thinking of where it felt, yeah, slasher horror mm -hmm. to me. They went methodically one by one. That, and then uh, I'll, I'll mention it when, when it when it happens. <laughs> I'd recognize that house crack from anywhere. Turns out it was a different one. The one that, that they zoomed in on anyway. Fans of Splinter Cell in the chat. Nice. Talking about stealth games. This moment. Oh, yeah. The silhouette and then just the, uh, you yeah. know, and the blood splatter, the body, like, kind of just falling into the curtain, kind of, like, sliding down.
cool transition. I can't have a little bit this time. You'd think they'd check under the beds, but I guess we're good. Not my job. This place is intense. So intense. Intense, Dan. And the Alabama. It is an intense game. This game and the Anything. the precursor Ground Zeroes. Negative. The um He came in here. Keep looking. The most intense of the of the series. Big Boss Thomas, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, we appreciate, appreciate that. it. A little mini dance party, kind of horror <laughs> vibe Push dance party to Blend celebrate. Thank you. Get down on your stomach and crawl. It's kind of sad that no more stealth games like Metal Gear Solid and Splinter Cell are coming out. Dying genre. It'll come back. Everything always comes back. Right? What's hot right now? What is hot right now? Frogs. Frogs. Frogs in games. Frogs in games? Yeah. We love frogs in games. Um, tactical RPGs seem to be pretty big right yeah. now. I think we're out of the um, battle royale kind of phase. Oh, maybe, yeah. The party party game par uh, battle royale kind of moment that we had too. Like Fall Guys and stuff. All right, I remember this part. Playing dead. Why did he bust out his rocket launcher? Oh, he's just holding it. Well, yeah, that's not a weapon you use in a corridor like. Get down that. on the ground. I know. How do they not see? I guess their peripheral vision is obscured with the mask. Something happens here, and then they kind of like. No, they just suck at their jobs. No, no, no. Here, here, here. Like, oh, he pees. Classic. That's Ishmael too, right? Yeah. I mean, a classic Metal Gear Solid trope. Oh, 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 it's just that. That's right. Move. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh-oh. Got him. Oh! Yep. Alright, so this Rocket is like... Rocket launcher guy. Cypher Strike Force versus... Skull Face... Skull Face kind of trying to use Volgan, right? No, no, no. This is Volgan doing his own thing. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Oh, it is. But I thought Skullface was kind of guiding Volgan. Or was that after? Like, later. Later? Okay, never mind. This is Volgan doing his own thing. Because we were confused. Because we his lust for vengeance had him control the third child, which right. allowed him to control Volgan. Yeah. But at this time, no. Oh, that, that makes sense. I think sense. that's okay. my okay. understanding. Okay, that makes sense. Because I think we were confused, like, wait, there's like multiple parties at play? Vulcan's not on this strike force side. Thank you, Blossom. Yeah, welcome big boss. We like to speculate and ask questions out loud. Just be careful about answering them. Oh, and Big Boss has been watching a bunch of our Metal Gear Solid adventures on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you for coming over. We appreciate yeah. it. Oh, oh, thank We're you still so just much in, like, uh, what the hell is going on mode. Yeah, we are. Uh, Let us linger here for a bit. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Yeah, we're, we're still feeling We're trying to understand this last ending. Um, if it is an ending, we're going to debrief afterwards and ask you guys questions for sure. We will. We're going um, to see. So at this point... The only thing we kind of may have understood was that there was a little bit of a switcheroo. Mm -hmm. the, the character that we know in the beginning as Ahab... May not be who we thought it was. May not be who we thought it was. We thought we were playing as... And uh, Navin, we did not notice the design 
But that kind of stuff, don't point out till later. Yeah. If we miss details now, allow well, us to miss it and then bring it up later. I'll mention what we, we noticed previously. Sure, yeah. Because um, now I'm going to look even closer, looking for something different. Yeah. I did notice, or we did notice um, a couple streams ago that the, um, the third boy had a little shoulder, um, I don't know. Shoulder... It wasn't a ribbon, a like ribbon, a, yeah. a shoulder decorative thing, an accessory that matched Eli. When Eli, I, I noticed it when 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 uh, Eli had taken control, or bad. or uh, when Eli influenced third boy. But um, I didn't I didn't pay attention here, so I wonder if. It's Among Us, hide and seek, bringing back the self genre. Hey, that's a good point, Gull. There's a little bit of that in uh, Among Us. Here's a serious injury, color thing. Do you ever have to do that in the game? Yeah, I think <laughs> once or twice on stream. Oh. the imposter this whole time. <laughs> Blossom, would you believe I avoided this game because the story looked too normal while I'm looking at a sprinkler <laughs> vanquish a fire demon Vulcan? Yeah, it gets pretty... It I has its fair share of supernatural yeah. Metal Gear shenanigans. I, I think I kind of understand where you come from, though, Blossom. Yeah. Where it's like... It, it, um, at least the previous Metal Gear Solid games has this, like... Um, this factor of this is so unbelievable a little or like it's like so fantastical i mean yeah hey share what's up we don't know we don't know for sure don't hey share is this the ending yeah again we don't know but what's happening right now um is that we're playing through the the opening sequence again the mission the mission's called the truth the mission is called the truth. So we play we play this exact thing at the very beginning of the game. We're, we're coming back to it, but um, with a renewed perspective. We have we have new information. But it's incomplete. We it still, is incomplete. I'm, we don't I'm, know. I don't want to jump to any conclusions yet. We don't. But at least what we think has happened was a little bit of a switcheroo moment, which can be explained. The misunderstanding, or the thing that we believe could be explained by the fact that there's like a a uh, shrapnel pressing down on our brain, so maybe some misunderstandings happen because you know. You're pretty good. Nice work. He said that. Yeah, I think I shot the wrong guy, so I just shot both. Nice. I mean, you've had a little bit of practice. Certainly. Kojima is the Christopher Nolan of video games. Whoa. That's kind of a fun idea. I don't know if I... Uh, I'll, I'll have, have to think, think about that. that more, I, yeah, yeah, I will have to think about that one. Big Boss asks, um, regarding a comment from the last stream about missing quiet scenes due to using D-Dog most of the time, have you considered just looking at those bonus scenes and watching them on YouTube on stream? Big Boss, we are considering it, and that might be something um, we... We um, will set up in the future. Um, we do plan on doing like a, a big Metal Gear Solid wrap up stream just to kind of debrief our thoughts on the on the series as a whole. Um, and that includes watching some things that um, we missed. And then some people have noted that maybe going to back and watching the Metal Gear Solid Five trailers would be interesting since we finished the game. So, um, kind of, there are definitely some things, um, oh, is this where we lose sight? No. Uh, there are definitely some things that we want to, um, follow up on, on, uh, on YouTube in the future. Oh, 
I was about to make the same comment as Blossom, but about all the butt cracks instead. You know, the butt cracks, there's only been a couple butt crack moments. They're tasteful butt crack moments, if there's such a thing. They're realistic butt crack moments, I think. Yeah, like Foxhound, for example, is very weird right on the... Wait, is this new? Wait, have we seen this view? I don't remember... Okay, maybe we, we did. Okay. Um, Psycho Mantis and Decoy Octopus are both outright weird. The others are less weird, but still weird. Right, Blossom. Yeah, I see, I see what you're saying. Shooting of the fire extinguishers, classic. No, you're solid too. Okay, so here we don't have the red, the red um, shoulder pad. So I wonder if, if maybe there are features on Third Boy, depending on who's um, influencing him. Maybe I don't know if this is different from when his first. I don't know. It could be right because he has this. Know, he I has just, firing just, hands here. You're right. I'm talking. I'm just talking out loud. But it's like a Lolan variant, you know. It's like the, it's like region regional Differences, Pokemon. Yeah. So yes. right now he has fiery hands. Great, I love later, it. Whereas later he has the shoulder thing. Yeah. Maybe You're that will be the visual indicator. We gotta play the whole game again. We have to play the whole game again. Maybe there's and a when moment. And skull face, he has a hat on. There we go. Maybe there's a moment where someone else oh. influences him that we didn't notice, but actually it was like. Do not confirm or deny. No, don't 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 tell us, please. Please don't. Want to. Huey's father's gonna be an Oppenheimer. Oh my god. That movie looks crazy though. We love Christopher Nolan movies. I wonder if Kojima has influenced any directors, like any, like a kind of full circle since he likes the movies. You know, I could definitely see that happening. Um. Yeah, are there any directors out there who have publicly stated they were influenced by video games? Yeah, or if that any play any at all or indulge in any media, you know, that's uh, that's not movies, I guess. Here. Yeah, big boss. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll follow up on those videos and um. We do kind of want to do a, you know, other things too, like rank our favorite ocelot, rank our favorite snake, you know, things like that. So it'll be it'll be a fun debriefing. Move in. Go go go! Love Metal Gear Solid has real world history and biology. Then throw a fire demon and fire demon at me with a straight face. I miss this series, Malice. I'm with you. And sometimes I don't even know where the line is between, yeah. you know, real world history, real world science, and then when it kind of crosses that line into um, oh crosses that line into Kojima science is that a parasite? is this parasite eyes? no right? No. it kind of looks like maybe that dark eye thing no 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 that's only that's a fire
That slow-mo was awesome just now. I think I'm a little behind, but I think I know what you're talking about, Dan. Aw, big boss. As you can tell from, by my username, this series has a huge impact on me. Literally my favorite series in anything in a game game ever. Uh, besides maybe the but I think Metal Gear Solid still takes the top spot. Changed my life in many ways. Crazy to say that about a video game series. Oh, I think a lot of us are with you, Big uh, Boss. Yeah, it's less and less crazy lately. Um, yeah, yeah, so many people, you know, video games are so prominent and prevalent now. You know, I feel like maybe years ago, there was still a stigma around playing video games. Like, oh, that's just, you know, there's not, they're just, you know, a thing for kids to have fun. Sure, um, yeah. you know the association but but now we're having like look at this it, it, like cinematic deep storytelling immersive walking thing but um yeah we're we're all we're all with you big boss big boss <laughs> yeah helicopters. thank you for that blossom Helicopters get it so bad in this series, King. Where's Pequod? What if we were Pequod this whole time? Okay. <laughs> awesome. If you don't know where the line is, I gotta tell you right now, this fire demon is a thousand percent real. Maybe. Maybe. Metal Gear real. Metal Gear, I mean. I don't know. I don't remember when we split up. Extreme of Files. They talked about Extreme of Files in this. So I think we're approaching where where Ocelot comes in. Okay, ready for that whale? The whale! Oh my god! But that was like supposed to be symbolic, right? The Ahab Ishmael, like um Always a question with this game. Moby Is Dick. that metaphorical or uh, did that really happen? Well, may yeah, maybe we're going to see more of reality now that we know. Uh-oh. Just a little bit off the top with the helicopter. I don't remember we like crash. Crash. Right? Oh no, we did this. I remember this. All the talk got me reminded of the jam called Spec Ops: The Line. Not familiar. I've heard that was good. One of my favorite games ever is uh, by uh, by Zishan. All right. Well. Okay. All right, here we go. I think. Oh, and Ao with the resub. Twenty-one months. Ao. Is that it? That's crazy. Wait. What do you mean that's it? As in, usually we see the stuff after. That's true. Okay. Oh, Neo, thank you so much again for thank the resub. You. We're getting into some spicy Metal Gear Solid Five reveals. Um, maybe it'll continue after this. I don't know. We'll see. Well, maybe this is the point. I, I don't remember exactly, but maybe um, our character Ahab just leaves the ambulance and we don't know what happens to Ishmael. Maybe now we can see what happens to Ishmael. Oh, no. Oh, maybe it is. Here we go. I don't know that this is familiar. This way, boss. Hurry. <gasps> Here we go. That confirms, confirms who this is, right? We, I mean, not that we didn't already know. Oh my god! He, <gasps> this is new. Oh my god! This is new. So there's no runaway scene? Use that bike. 
Everyone's tuned up and ready to go. What's the plan here? The other guy's actually gonna be no spike. Is that like that's not like Ava's bike, is it? It's the same manufacturer. It I'll is. the rest. Here. That's your name as of today. <laughs> that keeps tripping me. Best out. change your face too. Now this one, he'll take your place. <coughs> Here on, he's Snake. He believes it too. My very own Phantom, huh? <laughs> Boss, the whole world wants your head. Don't worry, he can handle it. Move now, quickly. Aren't you forgetting something? play the song, aren't they? Hey, Kiros, what's Kiros, up? Kiros, thank you so much we'll for the raid. Again. We're in the middle yeah. of a cutscene, but we'll, we will address um, address you and your community in a second. But thank you all so much for being here. Dude, he can handle it as in Ocelot knows a thing or two about changing of identity. So this is early, this is like potentially him messing around with early stuff that eventually becomes his. This is a beta test of the liquid ocelot. Oh stuff, my god. Potentially, right? Do not confirm or deny. Just thinking out loud. Don't tell me that's it. Don't give me the credits. That might be it. Don't give me the credits. There's an after credit scene. <gasps> oh no, this thing, they always you do You wanna this. read it? Sure. 1942, Code Talker helps create the US military. Code Talker's is cipher book. Mm -hmm. 64, virtuous mission, Operation Snake Eater, death of the boss, comatose Vulcan is transported to a research facility. On the outskirts of Moscow, Code Talker begins his research on the ends for me. 65, Congo Crisis is brought to a close. 67, conducts its first hydrogen bomb test. China does. Uh, 68, Ava disappears, last seen in Hanoi. 69. ARPANET, Treaty of Proliferation, Yaha, uh -huh, Major yeah. Dispense Fox. Uh, Zaire, Les Enfants. Uh, Eli confirmed, David confirmed, so they oh. just told us right now. Okay. Big Boss Parts Way, Coaster Strain Strain Up, Arca uh, Metallic Archaea. Yeah. Bomb Test, Peace Walker. Incident. Assault yep. 2, Mother Base Destroy, Zero Hides a Big Boss. Uh huh. Leaves him in Ocelot's care. Vocal Core. Oh, fuck. Lays on top of my project, abandoning Eli's taken to Great Britain. Zero, oh, zero suffers brain damage from a parasite okay. attack. God. Zero visits. Oh my god, this is too fast. Oh, I want to read it. Oh We're just going to read it. Cal and 80, yeah. Uh, school face eyes in 84. Quiet suffers. Yep. There. Okay. Okay. I think there was. <laughs> yeah. No redacted information. <gasps> Is that? We saw this too. In the beginning. Oh, we did. Oh, yeah, that's right. We saw this at the beginning? At the very beginning. Yeah. No time for anesthetic. We have to open her now. <gasps> he was the medic. That's right. He was the medic. He was the medic? Look at him. Oh, oh, oh. But did they, they didn't, didn't, they didn't ever show that face before, No, they didn't. Before, he had right? a mask okay. on. Yeah.
<gasps> he stepped in front of boss. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna. C I feel like there is some context for him to have the pause stuff too, because she bonded with everyone on the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone would have some guilt I, about that. I pause. have some um, comments about it. It all like he, he if he was there this whole time, then that's why he knows. Now do you the things remember <gasps> who you are? What? what you were meant to do? Did we hear that on the? Is tape? this us right now? Punish chicken. Death, thanks to you. Uh huh. And thanks to you, I've left my mark. <laughs> you have too. You've written your own history. You're your own man. I'm Big Boss. And you are too. No. He's the two of us together. Where we are today, we built it. This story, this legend, it's ours. We can change the world and with it the future. I am you and you are me. Carry that with you wherever you go. Thank you, my friend. From here on out. You're a big boss. So is that recognition that he knows? He knows now. He knows now. Operation. In intrude and and three There's some frequency? What's going on? I don't know about this tech. What just happened? Another thing turned on? Oh, that's Metal Gear 1's Operation Codename. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's an MSX slash MSX boot up sound. The console that the original Metal Gear no and Metal Gear way. 2 was. Oh, that's what the I is. love that reference. Okay, okay. Whoa. There's a lot to, to, uh, to figure out here. I mean, I certainly have a ton of questions about... Um, so I guess... The big boss, at this moment, the big boss that the world is aware of is not actually a big boss. But the actual big boss is out there doing something. He's doing something. And Ocelot knows it. So, is the so big what is he doing? Like, So the big boss that does stuff... In Metal Gear. In Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2. Is that this big boss? When we find out that Cypher has... Big Boss's body, yeah. Metal Gear Solid Two. Yeah. That must have been the real Big Boss's body, right? So does the real Big Boss is he just doing stuff behind the scenes and then he gets caught by Cipher and he doesn't influence anything? Don't confirm or deny. I do nothing. We're just thinking out loud. You know what I mean? Oh, I. You know, I bet you there's gonna be an after. Yeah, that, that I think Obama been. said there's more tapes. There's more. Oh, there's Sorry, more you had, we had a uh, lie detector question from Gulf Mail too. We'll do all oh. that after. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll remember that, Gulf. Thank yeah, you. don't tell us anything. Don't don't answer anything. We're just um, we're just thinking out loud. Yeah, so I mean, like now we have to like mentally track. 
All right, well, we got two big bosses now. The real one, which is, it matters which one the real one is, yeah. even if they're psychologically the same. Yeah. Because of the DNA stuff. Because of the DNA stuff. Right, because um, Liquid wants his DNA, Metagross Solid 1. They need it for the GW system. Oh, no, well, they need it for, sorry, the Guns of the Patriots system, right? Yeah. I think by then it's the real big boss. I don't know, okay. Yeah, don't tell us anything. We're just thinking out loud. There's more first experience in this. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Um. Yeah, that's right, Blossom. We've praised Terra Strong a lot. Yeah. Throughout this. Hey, last two games. How you doing? Um. So far, all positive feelings from me, but I feel like hey, I'm, I'm reserving judgment until um. Until we uh, really have experienced everything. Yeah. Yeah, also uh -huh. Riku. Yeah. There's a lot of range. It's and the gift subs from King of Carbs. King. So generous. Thank you so much. He's the king of carbs. Thank you so much, King. We need dance party. Cover song, dance party. Thank you. Thank you, King. This cover's really nice. Um, That was quite the twist. Yeah, that it, was helps, it helps explain the Eli stuff, which is yeah, fun. it explains a lot. So th that scene that we just saw of him looking at himself in the mirror, was we that saw a little bit in the beginning of the game, but not the whole thing. Right. So, but this that scene was supposed to be after everything that we've endured. Yeah, that's right? now. Right. Okay. <gasps> that's wild. And you're right. Does it all check out? The two big boss thing after I mean, this game. Chad it has told us that um, there's more cassette tapes at least. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know, obviously, they, they, I don't think they have this in mind when they. And do not confirm or hint or deny, Chat. Yeah. If we never find out, don't tell us. If we will eventually t find out, don't tell us. Yeah. Is there more, share More to this game? There's always more in Metal Gear Solid, especially, especially after credits. Yeah, after credits there's something, and then um, it, throughout this game, they've given us information in the form of cassette tapes. Just you literally hit play and you mm -hmm. listen. So sounds like there's going to be some of those after. And Red Blood Cell, you're okay. You can always check hey, the mod for, you know, those spicy moments. Um... There will be another dates histor history scroll. Okay, okay. Oh, you can pause during the dates? Oh. Wait, how? Like, you mean, like, go back to the home screen of the... Uh... Thanks, Blossom. Uh... <clears throat> I don't want to press a wrong button and skip it. Touchpad? Oh. It's like pausing a cutscene? I've never seen a pinned message like that. Thank you, Blossom. Oh, this. Okay. Nice. Thank you. There's all, yeah, there's always more Metal Gear Solid until Kojima leaves Konami, right. Thank Devil, you did you play uh, Metal Gear Survive? We were it's the left side of the touchpad, by the way. Oh, nice. Okay. Left side of the touchpad, everybody. Wow. Oh. They did it. They pulled the all switcheroo. And we... We fell for it. We made that whole character and everything. We're like, all right, guess we'll never see that guy again. Yeah, I always thought it was just some online yeah. thing. Yeah. And that that the soldier was the one of the one of the soldiers on on the helicopter, on the helicopter with helicopter, us. Straight up, yeah. Oh man, I'm thinking of another game, but I'm not gonna say it. We're not. We're all not going to say what the other game is. Do I know? Yeah. This is oh, the game. Yeah, this is yeah. The oh game. yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, oh, sorry. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. Oh man, we got tricked. Played you like a damn fiddle. That's right. I guess that. 
Yeah. It it makes <clears throat> it still makes sense. Like it was a mother base soldier who worked closely with everyone, including Big Boss, probably was able to understand Big Boss's methods and um like thought process. And then when he enters, when he gets plastic surgery, now looks like Big Boss, believes he's Big Boss. He can kind of, I don't know, t walk, talk through he that. the role. Yeah. He can fulfill that role. The public okay. role. There, was, there, would, there are some things I might think, how would, he, how would he know about that? I'm trying to think of what that could be. How could it have unraveled for him, you mean? Yeah, how, or how could he have... Well, I'm wondering... Yeah, how, how could he have known... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like... I'm trying to get the game. Like, oh, how, did, how would he have known this thing if he wasn't actually um, Big Boss? Price House, I want to know, but tell us maybe later, once okay. we're all done. Save it, sorry. Please. I am curious. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for asking, Fry Sauce. And yeah, maybe d uh, in a little bit we might we might ask. Yeah, we. So our goal here is we want to be able to share with you our uninfluenced thoughts. That's right. If that makes sense to you guys, and I'm sure that's exactly what you guys want to hear too, right? So we're trying to avoid being influenced and led by you who know things. Yeah. So being wrong is part of the fun of it. So. We're trying to talk about it while it's still fresh in our minds and potentially mm. wrong. Would you define everything to include cut content? Because there is a bonus partially finished cutscene, which was cut from this game, but was included on the bonus disc. So I was aware that this game had definitely developmental issues. Okay. Uh, issues during development. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess why not? Uh, if it's cut, then may, you know maybe we don't have to consider it when we think about the story at large. But certainly, but, I don't uh, know if we necessarily want to experience that. All right. Tonight. Um, I have the same theory as you, Anthony, where they burned a clone of Big Boss's body in Metal Gear Solid Four. I remembered that moment when they threw the body away after. Yeah. The what? <laughs> can you remind me what that body? Solidus. That was solid. That's if you was. if you that had paid right. attention, you would have noticed that the eye patch was on the wrong side. That's right. That's right. Okay, this is where stuff might happen. Okay, so we're, we're gonna miss. Bit, yeah. We're gonna miss some chat potentially. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this is after the game now. Eli establishes himself. Uh, establishes his kingdom of the flies. One liquid and solid sent to the battlefield. Okay, 1995 right there, that top one. Yeah, I see it. That's Metal Gear 1. While commanding Special Forces Unit Foxhound from a position in the U.S. military, Big Boss establishes the fortified military nation Outer Heaven in South Africa. The Outer Heaven uprising occurs, but it is squashed by Solid Snake, who kills Big Boss's Phantom. Oh, okay. Okay, so what I do know about Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 is like you believed you killed Big Boss in 1. Yeah. But he's back But he comes two. back. But so this whole game is just to wrap up that one plot hole? No, it's not. That's not because, but it does explain it a little bit. Yeah. Of like how is, how is Big Boss back? In Metal Gear 2. I mean, sometimes it's like one of those things you just accept. Like, oh, I, somehow he got, you know, yeah, he got yeah. away. So it ex he didn't check the body. He didn't it, ex the it explained something that didn't necessarily need an explanation, right? Yeah. But but yeah. that they, they explain it is actually yeah. kind Which of... Which is a very Kojima thing. <laughs> it is. Like, it is. Ret yeah. Retconning a little bit. Oh, not retconning. He does, yeah. He like, explains things or I guess kind of or fills in, ooh. you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Who kills big bosses. Phantom. Phantom. So I, I, it makes sense to call him the Phantom. Yeah. All right. Ready. Oh my God. So it was oh, 1995. Well, huh? Did um did Big Boss have a uh, prosthetic arm? 
I mean, if you zoom in on the pixels enough, maybe. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I meant the real big boss. If you zoom in on the pixels enough, then maybe in Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2? Oh, I mean, like, in I guess in 4, when he shows up, did he have a prosthetic arm there? Well, I mean, they reconstructed his body from what That's remains right. they had. So okay, it's not okay. even... We only... Like, what physically of that was... Uh, what is that? Ship of... Oh, 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 the, 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 that uh, philosophical kind of yeah. thing. Theseus? Theseus? What is that ship, the- y'all? Theseus? These- 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 that philosophical mind. If he, if. Yeah, it was a Frankenstein of clone oh, parts. That's basically. Yeah, how much of him was actually a th- th- ship of Theseus? Theseus. Theseus. Thank Thank you. You. Yeah. So that's what you're wondering, right? But it explained away because they, okay. they just used. I'm, I'm just trying there. to think ahead. I'm like, oh, if we had no, if we had seen the arm. The friendship. <laughs> Thank you, Cher. <laughs> <laughs> If we had seen, like, if we had noticed, like, oh, Big Boss never had, like, a prosthetic arm. Like, what's up yeah. with that? Then would have that would that have broken the whole thing open? Well, I but- mean, 1984 to 1995, maybe you got a much better prosthetic arm by then. You know what I mean? Thank you, Solidus. What's and up? And didn't use it to stun us? Yeah. You know? We'll get there, Gulf. Don't worry about it. Go. We won't miss anything. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, properly digest. keep it going. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Solidus. Oh, pause, right? Yeah. I'm just... Oh. Because the uh, the prompt's in the middle, I'm trying to let it go to the top of the screen. Smart, smart. Okay, 1999, Zanzibar Land Disturbance. Solid Snake kills Big Boss, but the Patriots revive him and conceal his comatose body, and that is where it remains all the way until Metal Gear Solid 4. Right. That's right. When we shut down the system. Mm-hmm. And then we see him at the, uh, the grave. The grave. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and they've already explained that part. Yeah. That, that uh, good been... point. Good point. La Bamba and oh. King. We know by MGS2 prosthetics are very convincing. That's true. Yeah. So, okay. Oh my gosh. Tofu's here. He's in my lap. Aww. I don't want to press anything. Oh. Uh-oh. Um, should I just go ahead and read 2005 here? The Shadow Moses incident? Sorry, let, me, let me move that up. I'm still reading 2002. Uh, actually, it's Camp actually X-ray. kind I don't of know stuff what that is. Already... Oh. Oh, no. That's just a real thing. Okay. Yeah. Move it up to the top. <laughs> Shadow Moses. Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh... Yep, McDonald Miller, yeah. Donald Dancer, Anderson, Dr. Clark. Yeah, they establish philanthropy, and they become like best bros yeah. during the two years between that and uh, the tanker incident, because that and tanker incident, and then uh, Big Shell, they have the crazy uh, handshake, if you remember. Yeah, oh, oh, of course I remember the handshake. Here's Tofu, guys. Tofu oh, I forgot, yeah, Miller... Miller was kind of present in the game, but actually it was it ended up being liquid. But they said Miller died in his home. Several like, days before. Several days before he even went on that mission. Hey, Tofu. Tofu gets shy in front of the mic. Do you have an announcement? What is Audrey playing on Monday? It's okay. <laughs> Does Tofu know? Tofu, what do you want me to play? I think he said stray. <laughs> <laughs> He's like... Metal Gear Survive. <laughs> My favorite game. All right. All right. All right. Yep. 2007 Tinker, 2009 Big Shell. Nano Machines. Big Boss kills Zero. And. Oh, oh yeah. Big Boss dies there to us as well. Yeah. yeah. So that's right. Man, I was expecting to see Ava in this. But again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was thinking about some stinger with Ava. Oh. What was it all for? <gasps> Here we go. If the boss has some plan, what is it? The real big boss is working separately from us to create his new nation. New nation? 
So Miller was in on it. Above and apart from all, the true outer heaven. Something created to maintain world balance. Independent of the struggles for supremacy, for personal profit, the cycles of revenge between countries. It'll be an army, all right, but more. Big Boss is building a nation. But until it's complete, we support the other Big Boss. The Phantom carries on his legend, his meme. That is Big Boss's plan. So that's the way it is. Nine years ago, I thought everything had been taken from me. But now I really have lost it all. The boss Aww. and the future we were building together. One day, the age of Big Boss's sons will arrive. They'll likely want to settle the score with him. We have to shape that age. We'll each have roles to play. <gasps> Building a foundation for a revolution led by both big bosses. The true one and the phantom. No. Big boss can go to hell. Yeah, yeah, cuz. I'll make the phantom and his son stronger to send him there. Yeah. For that, I'll keep playing my Whoa. role. Because he does eventually train. <laughs> Solid snake, right? Yeah, his, yeah, his master, Master Miller. Sooner or later, there will be only one boss. There's only room for one boss. His sons are fated to face each other someday, too. If the day ever comes that you go back to Cypher, I'll aid the other son. And then you and I will be enemies, too. One of us will have to kill the other. Fine by me. Aww. I'll be ready for the new age. You think Ocelot kills Kaz? Until then. I believe it. We better get used to coexisting. Whoa. Truth records. Nice. <sighs> oh my gosh. Cause is a what an incredible performance for Punished Cause this whole game, huh? Punished Cause. Really do miss the Jolly Cause. Jolly Jolly Cause. Side Ops list updated. Let me see. I miss Jolly Cause too. And I think that's why it hurts so much more. Right there. When you. Oh, they showed it to us. It was there from the beginning, I think. <clears throat> oh, man. 69% nice, yeah. Not intentional. How many times? Again? How many times on this Strange. channel have we finished a game and had a 69% completion? Twice. Twice for you and then one for both of us here, right? Well, let's go. Wait, nice. what, one of them was Super Metroid? First one was Super Metroid. The next one, maybe like, it wasn't 69%. It was like 69. Was it like the um, the Messenger or something like that? It was something. No. If anyone remembers. Maybe it was uh, Dread. I don't know. Oh, maybe <laughs> Metroid, Dread, Metroid Dread. Metroid yeah. Dread. I'm not, I don't remember. Okay. Hollow Knight? I don't really think Hollow Knight. Cassette tapes, right? Anything else, y'all? I'm so confused from that convo, Dan. I think it, it it sets up the next games. Like, why wasn't Ocelot with us, you know, uh, at in the first game? Why wasn't he building what? up uh, the... Right? In Metal Gear Solid 1? Metal Gear 1. Oh. Or, sorry, Metal Gear. Yeah, in the Metal Gear 1. Is it on purpose, Lucario? It is not on purpose. We are not aiming for 69%. It has happened. Oh, leather jacket. Cool. Coincidentally. Cyborg ninja uniform. <laughs> sure, we have a real nice. band. Lawson, that's fine. Oh, wait, what is it? We can research a cyborg ninja oh, uniform. Oh, nice, nice. Infinity bandana. Nice. I think the new tapes we should hear tonight. Sounds like a plan. Okay, thank you. 
After that, I don't have anything except for that bonus scene slash bonus ending. Yeah, we might. Which check is it out. not in the game, right? I can't. We can't access it right now. Is right. that what you're saying, La Bamba? <clears throat> Do you think there may have been hints of like Kaz and Ocelot being like, hey, are we sure we can trust this guy? Making all these these big boss decisions like throughout the game? I Whoa, wonder, you okay. know, whisperings of that or My something. My impression when we heard that conversation was that uh, that was after everything. Yeah, that was after everything. Yeah. Oh, or, but then there oh. wouldn't be hints. As in as oh. in he as in Ocelot just revealed it to Kaz. That's I think that's what we just heard. You think Kaz didn't know this whole time? Oh, that makes sense. The tape we heard was Kaz reacting to the news. When that oh. conversation took place is I'm not sure. Cause we rescued Kaz as Phantom Big Boss. Yes. And maybe he, Ocelot just never told him. Yeah. Wait, who so Ocelot? was literally the one who orchestrated this whole thing welcome to metal gear solid oh my god that it's sentence literally. you just said yeah is the big takeaway at the end of every post credits logo on the screen ocelot talking yet again it's ocelot what did you just say verbatim ocelot y orchestrated this whole thing yeah literally orchestrated this whole thing uh, yeah tape time yeah everyone wants to, li us to listen to the tape um, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Oh my gosh! Dude, there's I thought twelve he was just, tapes. I thought he was just finger guns and and uh, truth records. Oh my god! Now. a lot of them. Oh, there is a lot. Okay. Um, I need to take a quick restroom break, and then we'll at the very least listen to the yellow ones. But you guys take this opportunity to convince us to listen to the white ones. Okay. But I'm gonna take a restroom break. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll hang out with chat for a little bit because I there were some things that I wanted to remember, so I need to say it now before I forget. Um, Eli is still a question mark, right? Like that's what I was about to say. Go to the restroom. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like still trying to be a part of the conversation. He's like halfway to the bathroom. Eli still has the third English train. When are we? That that doesn't ever come back that I know of, unless he. Right? Maybe it's revealed. It maybe it's revealed in the tapes. Please don't. Yeah, no spoils. Thank you, Merc. I just wanted to put it out there before I forgot, because um. Because it it occurred to me when we were in the credits. We do not know right now. What happened to Eli or Salanthropus that they stole or the Parasite Strain? That is correct. Okay, great, great. Yeah. Oh, how could I forget about Salanthropus? I, I totally forgot about Salanthropus. Yeah, what's going on there? Again, we still need to listen to the truth tape, so we're going to see that. You get two he heating pads, one cat takes both. I just noticed. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? Um, I forgot. Yeah, why don't we take care of that uh, lie detector test? And Zishaman, thank you so much for the posture check. Actually, Anthony's finishing up. I'll, I'll wait till he comes back so we can do the lie detector test. Um, and we will uh, read that question. I wish there was a game or two from Ocelot's perspective. Wow. What would that be like? Would that be interesting? That would be interesting for a super fan to see how he's orchestrating all these things. I don't know. I kind of like him as where how his role is. I don't know. Just like this like puppeteer doing these things behind the scenes but putting him in the forefront i don't know that would be cool too Ocelot? don't get me wrong yeah yeah so, i don't know so yeah phoenix said i wish there was a game or two from Ocelot's perspective which could be interesting but at Give the me same a manga time of that how about that or like a dlc or something like a little um, like a short thing it i think was it blossom that asked is there another part in this timeline that we would have wanted a game from i think a lot of people have said this but um the boss yes like world war ii that is the, the correct boss. answer Something like um, that. Sorry, I, I, I was thinking we should do the um, lie detector question now. All right, thank you very much. Uh, was it golf? We yeah, redeemed it was a golf. lie detector. You can use your channel points here. We have a uh, le totally legit lie detector. Yeah. You ask us a yes or no question and we'll answer it. Uh, I think I did the last one, so you can do this oh, one. Oh, okay, I'll do this one. And um, All right, so it's calibrating. Wait, my hand's not on it. It is now. Nothing. So it's calibrating, and then Audrey's going to answer a question, yes or no, and then press the button, and if 
Um, if she's telling the truth, nice green light. Yeah. If she's lying about with her answer, yeah, it'll shock. give her a nice little electric shock. Nice. Um, can you remind me of the question, please? Oh, let me scroll All down. of these games are kind of from Ocelot's perspective, in my opinion. Yeah, he already yeah, knows point, everything. I, I kind of like that. I yeah, so like it was Golf. Golf asked, are you content with this being the final game in the series? As in final, in, ter in terms of release order, right? There you go. Am I content? Should you wait until after the tapes to answer this? I don't know. Okay. I'll or do you want to just do how you feel right now? I'll, feel, I'll say how I feel right now. Okay. Um, I, There's layers to this question, I feel like. To say I'm content. So this is one of those games that goes back in time, right? Like four, we Certainly, had a, yeah. had a game, and then now we're going back into that kind of three uh post three kind of mm -hmm. timeline the same with peace walker so it yeah I think this, this is the naked snake yeah this timeline, kind yeah. of circles back to the question like does this did this story need to be told yes right? i that the, that was the question i asked you when we started peace walker yeah was this a story worth telling and so the question this specific question do you feel that this is a good uh um it says uh do you feel set are you content with this being the final game in the series I don't know. That's a great question. Um, yes or no? Okay. I, my gut was to say no. I want another game. <laughs> uh. I kind of feel like at the end of four, which would be the game that's kind of like the most... Um, Audrey lied. It shocked she just me. Got I guess I lied. I guess I lied. So you are content then? I guess I'm content. And Can you explain let's end why? it here. No, we're no, no more needed. No, no more elaborate. No more. I'm just. Audrey will well, elaborate at the uh, debrief stream. Well, to be fair, I didn't calibrate to my hand. Oh my god! You were calibrating it as you were handing it to me. Okay. Anyway, I, I want to finish what I was saying because I feel like at the end of four, which is the game that's the latest in the timeline, at least as far as I know. I don't know about Rising or. Sure. Do not tell Audrey whatever. anything about Rising. But they left that timeline that moment kind of on this like cliffhanger I thought right or or did or did it not maybe it was it choose to live yeah I don't remember I remember at the end of four I was like I was a little bit like huh like at, at after the credits I was like I well, well I don't know what's going on so I thought maybe they were setting something up for the future mm -hmm. but um so in that way I'm like ah, you know is, is, I guess we could have another game but it, it turns out lie detector said that I was lying mm -hmm. so I'm content with this game this game was you know such a it was it was masterful in its storytelling I feel you know happy to have experienced this story Certainly. and you know why not end on a good note so there's my there's my other answer Audrey happy with the end of the series the end that's it no more put it away I don't know I don't know yeah. who's ever Konami Kojima we're done we're done that's yeah uh, I feel like definitely the mine. There's two questions of the uh, did you like it and was it good are two very different questions. I did I like it in this moment. I feel yes. Yeah. Is it good? Is it good? I do feel like yes, but I need that one feels like I need more time. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I from my perspective at least, I liked it. Um, I mean, I just it was just you know visually I just loved it was so in terms uh, of like storytelling visual storytelling, storytelling yeah. uh it was so cinematic it has heart yeah um it's definitely a different vibe from the previous metal gear solid games and at least initially i felt a little bit worried or a little bit i don't want to say disappointed maybe a little sad about it i was like oh they're they're doing something different here yeah but difference not bad yeah and i so i appreciate this for what it is, and yeah. I and I liked it. I think I could say I liked it. All right, let's get into the tapes, y'all. You guys kind of made us think that there's a ton of tapes here, so. <clears throat> here we go. Yeah, we're gonna look at the. We're gonna look at this. Okay. We'll just go in this order. Oh wait, did everyone say listen to the, uh, the white ones? Oh, this game is in the Easy Allies Hall of Shame. Yeah, Isla brought it. Oh. 
But then I had to stop watching it because I was like, okay, well, we're still in well, the middle of the I'm going to have to look back, we'll go back at that. We'll go back now. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to look back at that. Thank you. Do sure. we? I would say go in order and listen to the white ones. Okay, oh. cool. White types are white tapes are good. Thank all you, guys. Good. All right, let's go. see what's going on. Boss, how are you back on your feet so quickly? Hmm. There's a non-smoking ward. Boss, if I listened to everything the doctor said, I'd probably die in here. No point waking up after nine years for that. Well, having you out of that bed makes things a little easier. Bad news, huh? Hmm. Things are looking worse. Go on. They found out about you waking up. And the man on fire picked this time to wake up, too. We'll have to move forward ahead of schedule. Miller already has the preparations <laughs> underway. We'll have to wake up your neighbor, too. So he's not... He seems awake now. No. Well, he's not actively conscious yet, at least. He was a doctor, too. In his mind, that past no longer exists. Your past is his past now. He's going to be your phantom. So, but they just spent nine years doing diversion. this? Ocelot? He'll act as the new big boss. Yeah. And the act just isn't for Cypher. He'll be your face on the world stage until the time comes for your resurgence. You make it sound easy. <laughs> We've been busy over the last nine there years. Is. His altered state of consciousness has helped us implant powerful suggestions through induced hypnagogia. Okay. He's experienced all your missions on record and shared oh. all your knowledge and experience. Okay. To make him believe that he is the one true. So it wasn't boss. just him absorbing no it through being around it. They actually the did stop. So, is he the real big boss or a stand-in? What does that mean to him? Nothing. The human brain is capable of many illusions. Of pain, of the future. What happens from here depends on his skill. You can vouch for that. He was always the best man we had. But... Nine years ago in that helicopter, he threw himself between you and the blast. In that mm. moment, the man you knew died. He died protecting you. And now, by becoming you, say his name. He protects you again. It's Rini. This is just a detour in his journey to hell. Detour. Don't forget, oh it's my God! It's what he wants. He's in his dog days now. Hmm. It's not just him. We'll be putting the people in this hospital in the line of fire. They'll be your shield and necessary diversion to buy us some time. And you? I'll be right by his side. Can you keep it up? It's a hell of a lie. It won't be a lie. I won't know his secret either. <laughs> what? I'll believe that he's the real big boss. I'll have no conscious knowledge of you. Is he gonna... Where's the lie in that? Self-hypnosis. Yeah. It's nothing okay. new in my line of work. It's nothing new in my line of work. Past. But that's not all. He says it so casually. When the time is right, I need to remember that you're the real boss. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. In a world. Oh, we're, oh we need a... Like a sleeper <laughs> agent year, uh, triggering two word. Plus two equals five. And I want you to do the same. Right. His bodyguard? Correct. It won't be long before this hospital comes under attack. We'll wake him up right away, but he won't be back to full health in time. You'll need to take him through his final paces. Yeah. I want to see his face again. All right. John. I've never forgotten you in these nine years. But I have to forget you now. Adam. I'm counting on you. Adam! Adam Scott. Has he ever called him Adam like that? <sighs> Maybe, but... Dude. Well, I mean, he learned at the end of three. What's your name? Yeah, I remember snake. that. No, yeah, no I'm not a snake. Yeah, oh. Or you're not a snake and, and I'm, I'm not, not an, an ocelot. ocelot. Mm. Dude, that scene is so good that at the end of three. Three, good. dude. Three. Anytime I... You guys probably feel the same thing. Anytime you think back on three, it's just like... Get choked up. You get choked up. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's a special feeling that three, the memories of three. Red blood cell. I cannot keep up with the Metal Gear lore. Red blood cell. I'm like, I'm just barely hanging on here. I'm, yeah, I'm hanging yeah. on by a thread. We were, I'm still in this though. This whole series is just a yeah, little story between snake and Yeah, what did he just say? Something about two plus yeah, two. Sure. Yeah, he said two, two plus two equals five. Is as in, reference? as in, like that's the strength of the hypnosis. You're like, ah. oh, it's just gonna be so strong. You're gonna believe that two plus two equals five. Is that an expression? I don't know. Yeah, is it? So romantic, Gundel. Yeah. Okay, next one. Yeah, it is a love story between Sagan and Ocelot. They they have a yeah. a great relationship or an interesting relationship. What's up about the 1972 project? Les Enfants Terribles. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you never did like the French. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All that Catherine the Great aristocratic pompousness gets to me. That's all. Palace talk. They can keep it. 
Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That madness Zero started. Or the start of his madness. You found out something new? The plan itself was abandoned in 76. ATGC dismantled the project, and their account with DARPA was closed. So I was worried about what happened to you. Your sons. They're no sons of mine. And they're sure as hell not me. Just a bunch of cells grown in a lab? What they are is much sicker than that. Well, Zero doesn't think so. Eva doesn't oh, either. First. To them, those boys are your clones. They're you, down to the last hair. And? The first boys were raised free range, like we thought. Uh -huh. Both of them. David has never left the States, but the other, Eli, has disappeared. So weird to Might hear their well real call names. It abandoned. Sorry, what? You say? Here to, here, uh, it's Where weird, weird to hear their real names like that. Yeah. Zero is home ground. Apparently, he traveled to Africa after that, but that's where he escaped from Zero's care. Just like that. Why? Who knows? Maybe he found out about his birth. If he's alive, he'd be 11 or 12 by now. Old enough to think and act for himself. So he might still be alive? On his own? There? I wouldn't bet on it. John, if he is alive, what's the plan? I have nothing to say to him. Treat him like a human being, just another person. Dang. Yeah. I mean, kind of cold, but... I guess. Oh, it's from... 2 plus 2 equals 5 is from 1984. Oh, okay. Thank you. I've not read it. Yeah, I'm not... I haven't either. Thank you, Donald. Okay. Shall we continue? Yeah, just in order. Let's go in order. Boss, this war business short. you and Miller started. Since the industry spread out to the PFs, it may have a favorable influence on Cypher. To a ruler, an everlasting enemy is convenient. By directing the public's animosity outside his borders, he can unify their frame of mind. Guns for hire continue the war. Then enrich the economy with their spoils. War as a business will become a permanent tool for manipulating the public mind. A new business model. You might even call it a war economy. Thanks, Lucario. Before long, Cypher, or rather the Patriots, Thanks, will be drawn to this. Probably only a few decades before it takes hold. It's not far off at all. Okay, so just uh, to contextualize, this is all... These are all like tapes. Before we... Yes. Like really wake up. The Phantom wakes up? Yeah. Yeah. So this We're is still all setting up for the all of that <laughs> stuff. This is between... He's catching him up. Yeah. This is between John, Big Boss, and Adam, Ocelot. Still no leads on Zero. We don't even know whether he's still alive. But the protocol he put in motion is making steady progress. Every day, SIGINS web covers a little bit more of the globe. Total information control. Big Brother Zero. And it'll happen before anyone even realizes. I don't <coughs> like it. You're the big brother of the battlefield. You've earned a firm grip on the world's military power. But soon, Zero will have nations in his. He'll erase the Cold War, all war from people's minds, and with it the world's borders. Zero's will, his influence, will be unleashed with nothing to stem the tide. When that happens, the opposition will no longer match the lines on the map. And boss, with no borders left, what difference can we make? War will have lost any true meaning to the world. Just one more gear keeping the wheels of economy turning. Another product bearing down the capitalist conveyor belt. The future your friend Miller wanted. That's all there is in store. Perhaps it's already too late. But human will should only be handed down and nurtured by human hands. It can't be entrusted to the system. Especially not that soulless phantom that Zero's left in his wake. Mm. No matter what happens, We'll have to fight someday to reclaim our truth. Until next time, Big Boss. Guns of the Patriots. Ready? Yep, sounds good. Someone has successfully struck at Zero. Since Zero's using a private network, we get information, but we have no way to trace his location. 
That means the details are still fuzzy at this point, but apparently some new bioweapon was used. Oh, the as soon as he noticed the, the dip in his vital signs, he had his stomach pumped and even underwent blood dialysis. But he didn't fully recover. Ironically, if Zero kept more company, he'd have been safe. Since the incident, his speech and actions have been getting more unhinged oh. by the day. He's probably been rushed to another safe house for intensive care. But the location is a complete mystery. That's the way he operates. He went to incredible lengths to make sure his great escape went unnoticed. So far, I know at least Langley and the Pentagon were involved. He had a blackout triggered in New York to disrupt the transportation and information grids, and at least two submarines were sighted off the coast. The personnel involved were working off a cover story. Naturally, the White House was fed the same thing. The project is buried under a pile of dummy ops and backup plans stretching across multiple organizations. It's safe to say not one of the people involved knew what they were moving or to where. All mm -hmm. top secret. No trail, no leads. He's living up to his name as usual. Only this time, even I can't find him. Now the only record of his location lies within the cipher AI that was at the heart of the escape plan. And that's closed off, with its data sealed away in a secret location. Skullface was able to put together this assassination attempt, but even he can't possibly know where Zero is now. I'll keep searching, but when you're up against he who controls information, it's gonna be a long battle. Mm. Yeah. Boss, it was mm. Anderson after all. <laughs> That's right, the man who went by Sigan during Operation mm -hmm. Snake Eater. Oh. Following Zero's disappearance, he's taken over oh, command oh, of Cypher. Oh, okay, okay. Wait. Well, to be precise, the AI he oversees has. The idea to have an AI act for Zero came about in 74, when the data from the mammal pod penetrated NORAD. Clearly, an AI couldn't be allowed to make its own decisions. So they would take away its ability to act, and instead, create a specialized system in which the AI, bound by specific rules, filters the massive amounts of data it collects before passing it on to people, subtly guiding their decision-making. This is GW, right? A yeah. system of the people, by the people, for the people. So they began researching how to do it. DARPA apparently brought Strangelove on board to head it up. She was forced out after a certain incident. Mm. The direction of the project and any trace of her existence was scrubbed after her departure. Before Zero you know lost consciousness as his condition worsened, Where's he, died? he left instructions that, for that Anderson the incident? through a cutout, of course. Zero went out of his way to hide your location in order to keep you safe. This meant sacrificing his own protection. It was the only way to ensure you could stand alone as your own man. And here I am. The only link between you and the world that's passing you by. I'm your last connection now. This was Zero's last request. His will. Once you're awake, we need to discuss the best way to ensure your safety. Oh, and they've got a name for Anderson's AI project. It's called The Patriots. No, oh, yes. It's all about ensuring that the concepts driving society appears the same in the mind of each person in that society about maintaining the identity of the individual, and yet having that individual willingly make up part of the whole. Mm. I guess it's fitting to call that patriotism, creating a united world. Zero's will is already fading into a shadow of what it once was. Systems, guidelines, rules, laws. When you take a mentality and fix it in a solid shape, put it out there in the hands of people, it can only begin to decay. Mm. No mentality can last forever. When the body dies, the will dies with it. The lolly lule low la bomba. <laughs> have you have you played fourteen? Had time to play? No blossom. No blossom, but I intend to uh, soon to pick up where I left off. I hope y'all watch the Smash Codec calls. Oh, like the codec calls that happen in in Smash the, Bros. In Smash Brothers, are there codec calls? I don't remember. I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, Lolly Lily, look, what are you talking about? No, no. Oh, 
Uh oh. Are we gonna hear zero? Oh, these are all spooky recordings. Huh? Okay, when does this take place? Yeah. This has got to be before Peace Walker, right? When she's working for Cypher. Oh, this is after she's captured. After Peace Walker. Oh, because she gets recaptured oh, yeah. by Cypher. But With all the torture and stuff. That's why we see Zero's name as a voice actor. Thank you for oh, I coming. I didn't even notice that. Please. I think you were the one who noticed it before. Oh. You're... Hmm. Is it that odd? I suppose the cuffs have gotten a bit loose. Although, truth be told, I have been spending more time in pajamas as of late. No. Nothing. The tie, perhaps. Not the most fashionable pattern, I admit. No, it is very nice. How sweet. Will you take a little brandy? Uh, You're hardly under age, after all. <laughs> no, he knows. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Please, he's sit. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Pacifica Ocean. Mm-hmm. What? Ah, uh, yes. You've already been... Oh, dude. Hmm. <sighs> Not bad. A schoolgirl through and through. Oh, so it is before Even Peace Walker. He yeah. Suspect otherwise. Here you are. Thank you. Whoa, dude. So it's like partly hypnosis too, then, <sighs> right? Well, not just not just an act. No, that's but what this is suggesting. Heard. But she kept a log. Right? Poppycock. Yeah. I just like to take a little time off work. You? Or maybe she's really dedicated to the act. You must feel that way uh, sometimes. Dude, I'm super confused. Well. <laughs> anyway, I could hardly greet my first guest from that damned bed. I, uh, missed my chance to catch you snoring. <laughs> now I'm twice as glad I got ready in time. This is so strangely... Drink before it gets cold. English breakfast tea. All I have, I'm afraid. Hmm. There were eight candidates before you, oh. meaning you will be the ninth Paz Ortega Andrade. What happened to the others? They're in the next room. They've been taking it easy these past few months. They... Do you see any windows here? No. I've gotten used to it, this life. I am who I am, after all. And I've had my fill of cursing this bloody dungeon. Excuse me. But I can't help sometimes. Wishing I could see the stars. What should I do? Well, you... You could go outside. Go up to the roof. Wait for the clouds to pass. You would have a view of Manhattan. Oh, we're in New York! Too. But once the wind blows... And the clouds pass. You can look up. Well, I mean, that's what we heard earlier. Sky oh, we did? Zero has been attacked. They moved him out of Even my head. Here. Oh, that's right. Remember, he triggered the blackout? Oh, yeah, You've that's had right. a hard time getting to where you are. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Sewer rats lead better lives. I know. Extreme training. Starvation. Pause advising him to touch Days grass, spent literally. Without sleep. Abandoned, hurt, and all but killed in every way imaginable. Some of your compatriots died. Others betrayed you, left you for dead. And you did the same to them. But through it all, you survived. And you alone made it here. Just look at you. I can see everything you've been through. I want to see her... Yes. Crack the Consider this mission a reward for the mountain you've climbed. 
Thank you. Yes, well, you know what's next. Yes. And you are prepared? Yes. I believe you. That ever so slight tan. Not the type you'd get on the west coast. If I didn't know better, I'd say you really did grow up around the equator. But it runs deeper than that. One look at you, and I see a wide-eyed student Caution. yearning Rain. for peace. Caution. Born and raised in Central America. I can see it all. How much preparation have you done? A little. You'll be perfect for this, to strike back at Snake. I'll share everything I know about him. <gasps> but you mustn't forget who you're dealing with. If he were to get the better of you, well, I deeply regret having put you in that position. But beyond that, I'm putting my life in your hands. You can trust me, Cypher. <laughs> None of my friends call me that. Tea's gone cold. Shall I make some more? I know we are the only ones here. Hmm? There is no one in the other room. And how do you know that? You said I was your first guest. Oh, I haven't had this much fun in quite a while. All right, then. So what does that... What, what does that suggest? That he lied to her about having people in the other room? That at this point, he's already suspicious about the world and completely isolationist. Oh, that's what that means. Well, I, I don't thought, know. That's my that's well, because he was saying all oh, right the other the other posses are in the room ne oh, next door. Maybe Should he's just trying to psych her out, but then she Maybe. just revealed that she's good. I don't know. I was kind of surprised because if this is pause pre um, Peace Walker, Peace Walker, I I w I thought she she still kind of has this. Well, maybe she's still she's acting. Yeah. Maybe yeah, maybe that's what it is. But she has that like naivety about her mm -hmm. that you know kind of like. That's part of the that, prep. Yeah, that is part of the prep. I thought I was kind of expecting her to be a little bit like more how she was at the very end of Peace Walker. Yeah, cipher agent. Yeah, where, where she was a cipher agent, she was like, "F peace," uh, yeah. you know, you yeah. know, and all, you know, kind of that passion. But like, yes, sir, and this and stuff. Maybe. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Cipher has been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. I feel like we've heard this. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. Who's this voice? You met with him face to face, oh, face. in oh. order to contact Big Boss. Okay. Uh. This is from the torture tape. Tell oh. me where he is. Is this? Oh, this where is the post credit in Ground Zero. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, this where little bit. Where is Zero? <gasps> Thank you. I've never known. Oh, my homie tape piece exactly. Kind of. Where I was born, the language I speak. I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save oh, Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill Zero for me? Not for you. Zero is Hell's Kitchen. I think that's where it ended. Avenue. Before, where it was kind of getting staticky. Undergoing treatment there. Hmm, not exactly Hyde Park. His medical needs keep him from moving around. That is why he summoned me there. The other residents are of varying race and ages, but in reality, all 40 units are cipher personnel. It took him 10 years to replace the original occupants. He has got places like this all over the world. No better place to hide a needle than a stack of needles. Hmm. Zero 
What's on the top floor? A room with no windows and no doors. Even the elevator does not reach it. Officially, that floor does not exist. The only access is by a secret staircase. So this is the uh, biological attack. One floor down. Room seven Does it make sense? Because he was saying... <laughs> Shades of World War Everyone II. gets orders via proxy Nobody except you. She doesn't get orders via proxy. People go in yeah, why did um, Zero summon her? Directly, yeah. But they're all cipher. The building blends right in with the rest of the city. They disseminate rumors that a gang operates out of the building. That keeps most outsiders away. And most of them are there. Why does it sound like Prozidi? It case has a vibe. Of an I can hear that, Blossom. But even they don't know what they're really protecting. Food traffic, goods coming in and out, phone lines, water and sewage. It is all monitored remotely by satellite and cameras inside and out. Should he need it, there is a sealed off water conduit that can be used to escape. Wow, she knows to the literally Hudson everything. River. Yeah. And from it's there her job to, to know. the sea. Is it? The submarines. But from the outside. Is it her job to know? She's just another building. I'm just surprised how much she knows. I mean, when you're a, like a secret agent, you go to any building, you scope it out. Oh. You know as much as you can before you go in. Okay. Well, thing, that's you know? why maybe this is why Zero didn't want anybody so knowing where he was and all his business. Zero suspicion mm -hmm. equals total security. Very bold. It's just the kind of ruse I'd expect from him. So long as no one's suspicions are aroused, you could hide there forever. On the other hand, if someone figures it out, there are dozens of ways in. And he's so paranoid about information slipping out, no one involved has the full picture. Except yeah, no backup. That ignorance is a weakness. Oh, okay. The downfall of a need-to-know system. The pitfalls are clear. Circumventing them will be simplicity itself. You hate him, don't you? Hate? I feel like we haven't heard Zero talk about. He never left me to die. I owe him my big life. Big boss like this yet. I'm bound Sorry, to repay who? the favor. I feel favorite. like we haven't heard Zero talk about big boss like this Any way since. I can. Um. But that's not what you really want to know. Like post Metal Gear Solid Three, we haven't heard Zero talk to know about is, this. Do I hate big boss? <laughs> You're saying unrelated to this conversation? <laughs> yeah, unrelated to this, to this and skull face conversation. Hate the man. Yeah. But just this I do deserve type, a the nature of this conversation. Of but he probably has no idea who I am. So you see, I have no reason to hate him at all. He sounds like so evil in this. I mean to have Skull my face? revenge yeah. against Zero. Oh, sorry, this is Skull. Yeah, I was trying to establish what I'm you were sorry. thinking right I now. I thought this was Zero. So uh, I got confused for a second. Even the hottest lava eventually cools. Skullface hates Zero. Mountain. Sorry, I, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I lost myself. For a the land. Scalding steam comes back down as rain, forming rivers, draining into the sea. It's then that nature's order sets in. Now I'm merely a part of that cycle. Just like Zero. So this is where Skullface gets the location information and then commits the uh, biological attack. And Big Boss. Don't do it! That lava, that vengeance, is already set as stone. Too late to change things now. Don't kill him! The choice is not mine to make. Please, let Big Boss live. 
Proceed. Shortly after this is us rescuing her in Ground Zeroes. Okay. Mm yeah. Yeah, Blossom, I agree regarding the subtitles' names. There, there were moments throughout the game where I think Audrey was confused between <laughs> Ocelot and Kaz. Definitely. Right? I mean, yeah. when you hear them next to each other, it, it I can hear it, but when it's like only one of them, like, wait, which one is this again? Yeah. Um. Yeah, she got all this info from one visit. Yeah. Crazy. She's a pro. Pause. Ah, uh, let's dive in. Yeah, I. Oh. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, she was like, I want to say big boss, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna um, give up this information or volunteer this information. And it's like, could have called it. He yeah. wasn't gonna. Anyway. It's me, Ocelot. It's been quite a while. Yeah, I'll say. Took a lot longer for you to surface than I expected, Major. I wasn't planning on coming back at all, but I had no choice. Well, after the Caribbean, my hunch was proven right. You wouldn't believe who was behind it. Oh, I have an idea. How did you respond? Immediate disinformation campaign. Most bought into the story, but not everyone. It was quite an incident, after all. I couldn't cover everything, but I did hide the fact that Snake survived. And that should buy us some time. Where is he? En route to an old foxhole of mine. A base in the British sovereign area of Cyprus. The military hospital at Dekelia? Ava's leading the operation. Dude. Ava? Following your orders? Funny, isn't it? That we should all reunite like this. This is an emergency. Otherwise, I sure as hell would... Yes, yes. I don't expect you to bury the hatchet between us. Something simply won't ever happen. Even I can appreciate that. <sighs> you too can only bear to speak with me from time to time. That's fine. Mm. But I don't want Snake to die. Surely we can come together on that. Mm. There are so few men I can turn to. And you're number one, Ocelot. Keep him hidden. Keep him safe. But I'll stay where I am and leave the rest to you. That's how he'd want it to. Isn't it better for you to be there to supervise? Where I am, where he goes, it makes no difference. All that matters is getting him the very best treatment and security. The latter being where you come in. Will he wake up? And if so, when? I have absolutely no idea. But as long as his heart is beating, he will keep fighting. So please, watch over him. This location, it's safe. No one will find him. And if they try, I will deal with them. The information must be suppressed. Hey, why? Uh, which is what you do best. Guess you're still at the top of your game, huh? Anything but. I'm sick, Ocelot. Donald's taken over a great deal. He'll be handling this situation Anderson. from mm -hmm. here on as well. Though I wish it weren't so. This will probably be the last time you and I speak. So, you won't say no, will you? I have no choice. Thank you. You save your thanks. <laughs> One more thing. A proposition. Yes. I've prepared a ruse of sorts. Oh. And I imagine you'll quite like... What is it? You could say, I've made another <gasps> snake. Major. Oh, wait. I'm not talking about the children. A mental copy. His phantom, if you like. His... I don't understand. You will when you get to oh, Cyprus. Zero was the one behind the it! in motion, but the rest is in your hands. Why? You're good at this kind of thing. The best. I need you on this. If it's in his best interests, I assure you, it is. <laughs> Look after Snake. He's the toughest son of a bitch I've ever known. Ava told us in uh, Metal Gear Solid um, 4 
He said while they were bitter enemies, Big Boss was to him an irreplaceable friend. Is that uh. what? Is that what uh, Ava said in uh, chapter four? But is he looking out for him like that in this moment, or is he? Yeah, we may have differing imp- interpretations about how the world should be and yeah. the boss's will, but I don't want my friend to die. Zero. That is right? what she but said. I don't want my friend to die, so I'll use my power, disinformation, to cloud the truth and. Oh my keep God! Him alive. Zero visiting. Look at these tapes. Is that kind of um? Am I on the right track there? At least close. Paraphrasing, maybe. Yeah, okay. Something about an irreplaceable friend. That that stuck with me mm. when she said that. Okay. Two. Zero. The ultimate toxic ex boyfriend. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Fry sauce. There it is. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Wow. Okay. Okay. And I saw uh, Gulf said there's like super long analysis videos. If you guys. Oh! If you guys have right. cool stuff that you want us to watch and experience. Um, um, now that we've completed the game please share uh, in the debriefing room on the discord but please use the spoiler tags for people who are not caught up in the VODs and stuff the hospital had a statue of the boss outside? oh I didn't notice that Huh? oh and just another reminder on the discord if you do use spoiler tags for stuff make sure you also label it like in regards to Metal Gear Solid 5 finishing, mm. and then the spoiler tag, just so people know what they're clicking on. Yeah, Zero never completely gave up on the big boss. That's mm-hmm. what she said. Oh. All right, let's keep going. Yes, it's me. You weren't in hospital long. I had trouble finding you. Where is he? Safe. Mm. But in the same state as when you last saw him. We've had our misunderstandings, you and I. But as you've made clear, our relationship is strictly business. Referring to Peace Walker. Mm. Therefore, I will limit this conversation to the business at hand. Please understand that I don't dislike you. Not inherently. Where is Snake? Now, now. Settle down, or I'll have to hang up. Jeez. And then you never hear from me again. Punished cause. Do you understand? First, about your boss. I had him moved once he was stabilized. I'm sure it came as quite a shock to you when you woke up. You'll have to forgive me. I told them to stop putting me under. Surely you understand. Specialized medical treatment in places like that can be positively nightmarish. We couldn't have left him there forever. And to be honest, I was entirely comfortable leaving matters in your hands. Don't take it the wrong way. Anyone looking for him would be looking for you. He needed to be as far from you as possible. In fact, I'm still not sharing his location. Even now, problems could arise. So instead, I'm giving you a point of contact. An introduction to a network of messengers who will lead you to a man. A friend to your boss. I'm sure he's mentioned him before. He knows Snake's location. More than any man alive, I trust him with this sort of thing. Keeping secrets, or men in the dark. He's known Snake quite a while. Ten years longer than you. Hmm. Hmm. Kazuhira, I don't care if you don't trust me. But I require your absolute trust in him on this. Snake will be brought back into this world, however long it takes. Understood. The only reason we're having this conversation is because you still have a role to play. Which brings me to the next issue. What happens after he regains consciousness? When Snake wakes up, and he will, he'll need your help again. So when he does, I promise you'll be the first to know. The code phrase will be, V has come to. I'll then mobilize all the necessary Ah. parties. Think of it as an overture to a prologue. Mm. Until then, do what you like. Venom. Just be ready when the time comes. But you don't need me to tell you that, do you? I know it's been hard on you too. But I can't imagine you're willing to just walk away. What are you talking about? Hmm? 
If what you're saying is true, then this is like wrapping a rope around your own neck and throwing it over a branch. What's your play in all this? This? This is for Snake. Okay. So that he survives after he wakes up. Nothing more. After that, I don't care what you do. Then tell me something. Go on. I only joined you after I found out what you were after. To make the world one, you need Snake for that. And he's already done a hell of a lot for you. He has. So on some level at least, I think you're being straight with me. Hmm. Then why'd you do that to him? I get what you were trying with Pass. You wanted to get Snake any way you could. But after that, what you did... How could you do that to him? After that wasn't me. You may not believe this, but I never intended Scorpius. for any of this to happen. My organization has many arms. Two. It's just going to take a little longer before we're all on the same page. I admit, I may have been lax in my supervision, but something like that will not happen again. Whatever. Well, does he One acknowledge day, XOF as an arm? Just no, as right? The boss no, it is, yeah. Oh, it is? But it was just like, after you. This usurped you by Scorpius. Right, to okay. Put you out of your misery. Is that so? Fantasy can make for a powerful ally. <laughs> but remember this reality, Kazuhira Miller. Big Boss will wake up. Mm. And when he does, be there for him. What the Zero, heck? Dude. Yeah, it was a nurse that said he has come to. Gotcha. Right, right, right. Oh, it was the nurse? Yeah, I guess so. I, it sounded like the iDroid voice to I me. I thought it to me too, yeah. Alright. Uh oh, it was a long one. Yeah. Major, I wondered whether you <laughs> really call. Major. Exer, I presume this was your doing. This, he was second in Do command. Do you like my gift? I've been searching a long time for this. It is what you were looking for. Uh -uh. Yes. It's a movie. The winged dagger of a comrade lost to the sands of Egypt. Mm. He served under the boss back in Rayforce. I delivered this pin to her after his death. We were both so very young. From that moment on, she never let it leave her side. She was still carrying it in Salino Yarsk. That's right, because he was cleaning up after that. But who are they talking about, though? He's talking to Skullface right now? Yeah, but who are they talking about? Which. Ah, he picked up a wrong. memento Wing. that was on. Nothing, just pricked my finger. A soldier? The scar is there, just as I remember it. And this white I don't know stitching who he's talking about. on okay. the back. From the white berets, the SAS war in the Was early that the biological days. attack? <gasps> the little like a Major. little uh the pin. Sleeping Beauty kind 30th of Thirtieth of December, nineteen forty one. It's the inscription I made the day he died. Of course. His body was never recovered. This pin badge is the closest thing he has to a grave. Is this um the sorrow? When I gave it to her, she just kept on running her finger over the inscription. Never again, she uttered, as if reprimanding herself for his death. She pressed hard. Oh, they the were they talking about the uh, the boss? Then? Into her finger. Yeah, they said the boss. Oh, they did. Oh, you see, sorry. it's why this spot on the back looks shinier than the rest. He was. Our brother in arms. So... Yes, it's real. Thank you. There's no doubt about it. Good. Now I have no regrets. What do I owe you? Nothing. Just want to talk for a moment. Very well, then. It's about our man, Major. He's been making some moves. Oh, Miller? Man. Yes, I know. Rhodesia, is it? Yes. And up to his old tricks again. No matter. He'll stumble soon enough. Mm. Although he is under my jurisdiction now. And that's what you want to talk about? Not exactly. You see, my being here has made me realize I can still be of use to you. How so? This country is rich with biological resources. Bacteria, nematodes, uh -oh. viruses. 
I'm sure we can find something here to bring that plan back. Oh, this is him trying to repropose. Forget it. The cleanser project was just another one of my predecessor's daydreams. And the vocal cord parasites? Were an excellent test case for reverse evolution. Nothing more. What matters now is the genetics technology behind that work. With genetics, the clumsiness in targeting an entire race isn't an issue. Ooh. We can target specific individuals. Die. No need to breed multiple generations of parasite just to get results. Local parasites well, don't be quaint, to, uh, Exo. Once the Cold War is over, our enemies won't be so clearly defined. Using human alone won't be enough. Human? An you? electronic network will span the globe, and our enemies will blend right into it. You may be right, but will people really settle for an enemy they can't see? Men want to feel righteous, need to see the evil in the enemy they fear. Without it, they'll turn their aggressions inward, find an enemy inside. You know this is true. I see what you're saying. Just as those robbed of their parasites develop allergies and autoimmune diseases, a man robbed of his enemy develops self-destructive tendencies. Which was in some of the tapes I listened to. I know to. all the symptoms. Ethnic conflict, religious strife, terrorism. And with asymmetrical conflict, deterrence is a joke. That's why we must depend on information control. People need an appropriate context for their lives. A context that's stimulating without being destructive. Mm. Distraction. That balance is the basis of equilibrium. You mean to say people will blindly accept your context without developing any allergies? If we're to unite the world, literacy must be suppressed. Oh my god. To suppress the information immune system, to borrow your metaphor. Immunity to information. Gosh, does he hear himself? But to ensure there's no allergic reaction, while the immune system fights off parasites and pathogens. It's done, Exo. This world will become one. I have found the way. The world that the boss envisioned will finally become a reality. He's talking about the AI Race, stuff? tribal affiliations, national borders, even our faces will be irrelevant. The nature of communication itself will change, and it will make mankind whole again. Some things can't be undone. My face was taken from me. There's no taking that back. A face means nothing when one's soul is able to communicate directly with another. I have no intention of hiding behind your technological veil, Major. I wear my broken visage, this skull in the open, so that I may never forget what I've lost. You. What are you? The chain of retaliation is what will truly bind this world uh -oh. together as one. Uh oh. Yep, the yep. pin. Got him. Major. You son of a. The pin. You. Yes, the pin. Yes. Go face his voice. Freaking sound design for these recordings. It's too late. They can't extract it. You see, Major, some things can't be undone. How did you find me? The girl. You made her talk. I'm sorry I couldn't visit or thank you in person, but it has been lovely chatting. And now that I know you're no longer interested in the garden, it's time for you to step aside. You're a busy man. Lots to do. So I've left you a little time. Go to hell! How dare you? You planned this all along. Had your own agenda. All these years. Yeah. Uh, now you see, the world can never truly become one. But the boss. I've been. You've been wrong. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. You 
are no different. Just like him. <laughs> None of you understand the world she saw. I would say the same to you, Major. Yeah, everyone's just pointing at each other. You don't understand. No, you don't no, understand. you don't know. Yeah. That's not what the boss said. Yeah. <laughs> you steal it all away. Gosh, just choose to live, people. The boss said the same thing. Only I understood what she meant. See, yes, guys. Major. Oh my God. I'll handle the rest. Oh, and one more thing. That pin badge. It was a fake. Oh, rude. <laughs> Damn. Let him have I that. I know. I held on to the real one. Care of it. And continue the boss's work. Damn. <laughs> that seemed a little petty. Like, That's hey. Good. Just. Do we see him wearing it? Do we see him wearing it? The pin? Do we? I don't. Jack. Dude. Okay, well, nothing there. No, no, none of the information there was really new, right? It's just the uh, co adding color. Yeah, that's right. Adding color. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> the cookies. I'm just trying to recall everything is me every time I watch these Metal Gear Solid Theory videos. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm trying my best out here, everybody. I'm like, wait, who? Who again? Who's she? Wait. Oh, yeah. One last yeah. one, dude. That's all we got. I really wish that tape was a cutscene all of, of all the tapes. Yeah. Is there something special about the cassette format, though? You know, you just kind of... Yeah. It's a, what is it like? You just kind of imagine it. Mind theater yeah, yeah, kind of thing. Radio storytelling, for mm. sure. Okay. Going. Yep. This one. What is this? So did Zero visit Snake and confess stuff while Snake was in a coma? Who's recording these? Secret. Go. I almost thought you wouldn't come. Well, you're supposed to visit hospital before you die. But how did you get here? What? My friends at the SAS know how to keep a secret. The trip to the airport was a little dramatic, but the rest was easy. Still, I've had smoother rides. Oh, look. Scorted myself with my tea. Is he talking to? I won't be staying. I thought it was maybe cause. I'm not sure. I understand. No? Is this Nate? Which one is he? Oh no. Right. Maybe the he doctor? Lost a lot? We did just as you instructed. No, this is someone else. Has either of them woken? Neither of them. No. Not once. Not in two years. Their weekly EEGs show stable activity levels. There's been practically no change. Maybe a guard or a doctor? Yeah, yeah. Jack. Hospital staff? Okay. Jack? It's me. You look fit to run a country mile. Every four bullet. hours, we move all of their muscles, subject them to load. They're stable, but eventually... Yes, of course. We've done everything we can to ensure they're ready to move, should they wake up. Still, hardcore. it's been a pretty long time. Hmm. How long will they be here? Indefinitely. It's too dangerous to move them. And so far, no one knows they're here. I see. I am most grateful to you. And I need you to keep it up. We'll do everything we can. Can you give us a moment? Of course. 
come I feel like that voice sounds important to me. Yeah, yeah, I get that feeling too. Yeah. Not a throwaway. Maybe it's just a good performance. Jack, can you hear me? Nice place, isn't it? I went to a lot of trouble bringing you here. Here where no one will find you. Still, the ocelot's on guard duty. The ocelot. Just in case. Maybe knowing that will help you sleep better. I had no intention of coming, but this so he does care about would it. be my last chance. You see what I mean? Yeah. If you'd just come to see me first. If you just come to see Do me first. Do you remember the last time If you I conceded to my vision of the bosses. Yeah. yeah. Our first mission together. After the boss threw you in that river. Broke your arm. Ah. Aw, the good throw old back days. to three. Seriously. I never told you this, but I had another team at my disposal back then. Mm -hmm. With a very special man leading it. XOF and Skullface. Maybe he didn't like the arrangement. In any case, this man, he uh, seems to have done something to me. Which is why I'm quite sick myself. Up here. There's nothing they can do. I always was the forgetful type, as you know. I'm all right for now, but they say it's a one-way street. That's why his behavior has been erratic. Ocelot yeah. says up wake there. up soon. I won't remember I you when you yeah. do. I don't mind about myself, but what he did to you. I can never forgive. Peace Walker. Or I've sent zeros. him to Africa. Mm -hmm. And I doubt he's coming back. Jack, once your little holiday here is over, well, who knows when that will be. But anyway... I probably won't be around. I'll be somewhere even you can't find me. A tombstone chiseled into the code of a machine. Dude, we freaking... That is all I leave to mark my existence. The digital yep. projected tombstone imagery. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Wake up soon, old friend. <laughs> Time is running short. There's still a lot of time left on this. Something to indicate that we heard it. Yeah. Okay, they, oh, that was a, actually a nice artful use. nothingness. Yeah, artful, artful nothingness. Artful silence. Damn. Yeah, Alabama, you understood. Ah, oh, Nave, that. What line, a thrill! Dude. <laughs> what a thrill! Yeah, Naven, good point. That line at the end in that it, during that scene that we were a little unsure about how yeah. we felt. But did Zero really hate me or did he fear me? It's too late to ask me now. Yeah. <sighs> bittersweet. All these relationships so bittersweet. Are bittersweet. I was about to ask that fry sauce. Did they yeah. specify what type of parasite or virus he was affected with? It wasn't a vocal cord, right? No. I don't think so. But it it if, if so, it would have been English, and then he would have been just spreading it. So. Just some parasite that inflicts his mind specifically. Well, I mean, we know that um, Skullface has been experimenting with all kinds of biological yeah. nonsense, so it could just be anything. They, they kind of had talked about it in that conversation. They were like, oh, what about this? Yeah. What about yeah. this um, thing we worked resources. on? What about this research we did? What about this? So I guess, yeah, just... 
if it was if it was effective. Yeah. He's not looking to do you know to wipe out the thing just yet. White ethnic cleanse thing just yet. Achieved an Intel tapes play rate of 100%. We <gasps> got them all. That's all the tapes. One thing left, mission 51. Yeah. Is that the... I think, I think maybe that's the cut mission. Oh, that's the cut mission. Okay. Okay, literally within this game, is there anything else for us to experience? Oh. Story speak and context-wise. Yeah, now. speak now. Because I'm... Uh, Forever hold your peace. Uninstalling and deleting the save after this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whoa. Um, gotcha. Okay, thank you. He mentioned it was going to deteriorate his memory and he was paralyzed. Right. So uh, just a, yeah, just a one target kind of parasite deal or something. Pain and suffering of S ranking everything out. That's Zero it. Zero kind of looks like the skulls in Metal Gear Solid 4. Zero does? Hmm. Right, 51 is a bonus scene. Secret tape, everybody's dead. They're all decoy octopus. Gustavo. Okay. So I guess in general preparation yeah. for the eventual debriefing stream, yeah. if there's more stuff that you think we need to see from Metal Gear Solid 5, please post on our Discord. I'll link it again right here. Best way to do there. it. We have a specific channel for this, the debriefing room. Post mm -hmm. it in there and make sure to use Discord's spoiler tag feature for the message. Yeah. But also good. label what you're posting like regarding additional Metal Gear Solid 5 stuff and then link it with the spoiler tags if you yeah. don't know how to use spoiler tags just ask on the discord and someone will show you yeah it's um because I want to know what you want to know oh want us to yeah know. that'd be great yeah yeah um that's all she wrote yeah what, what we're still gonna hang out and talk a little bit we will. so um don't, don't leave yet okay well I kind of asked about this during our little break but Eli with the the third strain. Yeah, and was that, was that supposed and so so philanthropist. So was that kind of supposed to be like a little I don't know, like not Maybe a Maybe we'll see in this additional stuff. Fifty one. Oh Apparently. Area fifty one. <laughs> Maybe we'll see in Area fifty one. Okay, okay. Then um <sighs> Maybe I won't say anything yet. Cause it could be something then. I was I thought maybe yeah, that was like the biggest I don't know. Loose end. Loose end, I, th yeah. I think, because I was like waiting for something to happen there. Although it did feel like the whole quiet stuff was kind of like the the climax of Yeah, of, definitely. Of it, definitely. So. This was like a slow burn ending. Yeah. This was a slow burn ending. Totally. The set piece ending was the quiet stuff. The set piece ending was the quiet stuff. Although, that was me. We got a credit scene after that. We did get a credit, but it didn't feel like I, it everything. felt like, I guess, with each chapter, that they, they were all like self, con, like almost like a self-contained yeah. story that had yeah, a was conclusion, like another season, yeah. a neat conclusion there, and then another neat conclusion. Mm -hmm. But the the story still kind of goes on. Yeah, definitely. Um, so it didn't feel like a I don't know like an end 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 end. Yeah, in a way. I agree. Um, I and agree. then and then we go back and we do the the whole um you know reveal of the of the of the. Uh, yeah, I think Labama kind of summed it up. Making you replay the entire hospital mission for a few minutes of additional cutscene was a weird way to do the ending, for sure. Yeah. I mean, this is... Hopefully, we're going to learn more about um, the uh, the meta around the development of this game, but mm -hmm. I'm sure these are all a result of the troubled development of the game. Oh. So. I mean, considering that, I would say it was a pretty solid game. Yeah. How, yeah. how do you guys rate this game? How do you rate this game from... Um, Metal Gear Rex to uh Metal Gear Ray. What the hell? Oh no, it's a philanthropist. Where did where where does this lie on the the philanthropist? Okay, all right, there yeah. it is then. What if I told you Chapter Two wasn't even going to be the last chapter yet? Like I mean, originally, it's so hard for me to really render my judgment on the game. Because even though there's no more for us to experience within the game, I feel like we haven't finished the game. Mm. Which I think maybe is part of how everyone feels about it. Mm -mm. The, uh, damn. Yeah. More. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's part of it. Um, chapter one ending feels like the ending, and chapter two is post credit stuff. I'm kind of inclined to agree at this moment. I need For the most part, I but there were that. like a hundred loose ends. Yeah, there were a hundred loose end ends. Chapter one, yeah. But. But somehow one felt like an ending to me still. 
more than now because we still have some loose ends. I know. So. Um, Unfinished business, yeah, Wings. Felt the same but way. Obama says, I judge it by what we did get, not what we didn't. And I mean, I enjoy the ride. Yeah, the journey really the journey was phenomenal, mm. Mm. right? If mm. you if you isolate aspects, moments, and everything, it was um, really incredible. Yeah. Hey, I need some there, time to simmer, though. Yeah, I found V to be an incredible, or 5 to be an incredible gameplay experience. It blew me away. And after four playthroughs, I still love it. Nice. Love That's- it. Amazing. Yeah, I think. Oh, I remember 2015, 16, all the crazy theories. Secret. <laughs> Chapter Maybe three, four, there's where a, people like trying to unlock it. And stuff. Yeah. Hidden yeah. Se- hidden chapters in the game that no one's unlocked yet. Even uh, seven data mine eight years later or something. Wow. That'd be OK. That'd so be here's some expectations I had that did not come to fruition. Yeah. Um, I thought we were going to see Ava. I thought we were going to see Ava. Me too. Um. I remember the trailers from a long time ago. We'll watch the trailers eventually. Okay. Seeing the kid that turns out to be Eli. Yeah. And I don't know if it was the zeitgeist, the trailer zeitgeist at the time where everyone was like, oh, that's liquid. That's got to be liquid. Yeah. But I thought, I doubt it was just my own unique thought. Mm Mm-hmm. But I left that trailer thinking, that's liquid. Okay. So So I was thinking, dude, are we going to see... Solid Snake 2. Oh, so yeah. So I had yeah. a little bit of hope there we would see something mm-hmm. like that. But yeah. That would have been interesting. I was scared D-Dog was going to die. Yeah, D-Dog's still here. But D-Dog's still here and I'm so happy. It's great. I love it. Best, best, best game. Um, What other things? Yeah, I think I was expecting to see more characters. But actually to that we get to see... Baby Psycho Mantis, that kind of thing. We Which did we, get to see a young We Eli. strongly believe that is Psycho Mantis. I, I mean, no one said Psycho Mantis in the game. You know, we just, but we just have strong beliefs. We do have strong beliefs. Yeah. So we imagine between this and Metal Gear Solid 1, Liquid and um, Psycho Mantis, the third child, mm-hmm. work together, or maybe they separate and reunite. For Foxhound, I don't know. Mm. Um, I know just the guy, and he calls up Psycho Mantis to recruit him into. I don't know, um, because he uses him to help control the genome soldiers, right? That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, maybe yeah. between now and then, he learns to really um, take control of his powers. Yeah, I think that's. Did they kind of suggest that was po- or maybe we we put that in our own minds I think like at did, some yeah. point? Yeah. Um. Everyone thought it was liquid in the trailer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. The Patriots, devil, you're right. Lalu, Lalu, Lalu. There they are, yeah. Okay. So, (laughs) yeah, we we certainly have more thoughts. We probably need time to digest. And Audrey and I definitely talk about these games after, off stream. So, we're looking forward to the fabled, at this point, debriefing stream yes year of metal gear metal year solid metal year solid it ended up that way it wasn't the plan no yeah. promises <laughs> but um wow in the same week we finished your solo stream game yeah we finished this this duo stream game and we do have another duo stream scheduled on the week next week is next week going to be the debriefing stream or something. what do you think audrey I mean, we've talked about possibly exploring another. Yeah. Just like this game left me feel a little unfinished. Okay. I feel like I don't think we can fully debrief. Yeah. Okay. Fair. So we haven't played everything, right? Yeah. So what? So what are you thinking? So what are we playing next week? We're playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So that we can actually understand this whole franchise. Not that we know one way or the other this is particularly relevant. I know, I'm kidding. But additional context, more Metal Gear, why not? Yeah. Nice. And Audrey did not <laughs> know that this was like a platinum cool action yeah, game. Yeah, I feel like I didn't know that until whenever we talked about it. Yeah. And um, I was like, oh, platinum. I, I know a little bit about Bayonetta. I, I haven't yeah, played that yeah. myself. I was like, 
I, I mean, I'm kind of into those vibes. Yeah, and, and that's so what we're going to do. Audrey's going to play it. I'm going to try. If I get too motion sick, then we might have to, uh, you know, change up plan. Yeah. But so the I'm context for you guys is that I've always been interested in this game. I just never played it. Um, Audrey knew a little about it. Um, I was worried about motion sickness. She was worried about motion, motion sickness. I had considered playing it as a solo stream game, just yeah. me, so that Audrey could watch the VODs. There's the idea of us doing as a solo stream and then me playing it so that Audrey can has the freedom to look away yeah. if she's feeling it. But Audrey feels like maybe she'll try playing it herself. Maybe that will curb the motion sickness. We're yeah. going to have to do some tests, but right now the plan is to dive into... Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Our understanding is that it's not a super long game, yeah. but we kind of feel like we want to know for ourselves whether or not this is relevant enough to be part of our debriefing stream. Um, and I know there's a lot of memes and I kind of want to see the game. I don't know anything about the memes of this game, so... It has memorable things. Memorable things? Okay, well, maybe I'll notice, I'll remember it, the meme when I see it in the game, but yeah. at this time I can't recall any any that I've seen so yeah so we have access to all versions of the game there's the PC version there's this Xbox 360 version there's also the PC uh, PS3 version from my research and testing mm. um, I've decided we will probably be playing the Xbox 360 version on our Xbox one X backwards compatibility Alrighty. I think that'll just give us a smooth frame rate mm. good controls to help minimize the motion sickness for Aji. um maximum stability would be to play the pc version but that is such a huge headache mm. um for our stream setup yeah to have audrey play a pc game they were dropping breadcrumbs throughout the stream yeah. very kojima we were taking notes yeah and for all, some notes. of the other stuff that we had um teased for duo stream those of you who have been around for my secret post stream conversations, that is still coming up. Okay. Likely after this. All right, sounds good. So uh, hang um, on to your butts. Wings asked, can I get your thoughts on that final scene with the mirror while it's fresh in your mind? I like it with the Phantom Boss. Let's call him Phantom Boss. Phantom Boss. The solidarity between the two of them and him accepting it is like this. I am. You are me, and I am you. Oh, now that I think about it, because he continues on to do more shenanigans. Now that I think about it, that's really intense. That's hardcore. And he, but he, and he didn't even consent to that stuff. No, it's you know pretty, what I mean. Well, no, no, no. They, they kind of touched on that. Um, when he jumped in front of you to save your life, that's a he good... chose to give his life for you. Shoot. He's just. This is just a detour on his way to hell. Damn. He's already sealed the deal. So I was, yeah. Dang. Oh, most people just refer to him as Venom. Say, okay, that's a good point. Did what you notice this? a logo in the background? What was it? We'll have to check back in the VOD. Yeah, so that kind of stuff, if wings and everyone, if you have stuff like that, yeah, that you remember like after our stream's over tonight, like, oh, I forgot to mention this to Audrey and Anthony. Again, the Discord, the debriefing stream. Just say like, hey, Audrey and Anthony, I recommend you go back to the VOD yeah. and look at this scene and look in the mirror or but whatever. But saying, when you yeah. entered the room, that door had Diamond Dogs logo. When you exited, it was Outer Heaven. Sweet. Maybe I think I did oh, notice that. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I noticed. But the oh, I, that, that answer eventually got... Um, that answer to... Uh, or answered. I think we were like, oh, is this the... the the big boss at uh, Outer Heaven or something like that. Oh, it's extremely brief in a millisecond. Hey, dog person. Wait, what do you mean, pain? <laughs> God, Did you not enjoy the game? We're enjoying. We're 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 uh, you know we're chilling. We're vibing. It's fine. Um, It's like a message from Kojima. Every player is big boss. Oh. I don't know if I would go that far for big boss, but... um. <laughs> anyone could be big boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, if you want to go all the way to Metal Solid 2, anyone could be Solid Snake in the right situation. <laughs> it's true. SSS, right? Solid Snake simulation. <laughs> Thank you, 
boss. Dang. Oh, there's some Coda Calls in Metal Gear 1 that with this retcon, you could even line up with this ending. Pretty cool. Nice. Maybe one day. Yeah, maybe one day. We, I think we've kind of decided that we're not going to play Metal Gear 1 and 2 in prep for the um, debriefing stream, but we may play it one day. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. It'll be Metal Gear Solid. Thank you so much for the kind words, Wings, and everyone yeah. else. I mean, what a trip. What a trip. We, we did it. That's why you can put your name, birthday, and your face. You're the medic. That's yeah, us. Yeah, it was like yeah. us. And we named yeah. that character and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's... Like, they didn't necessarily have to put in a uh, character creation at all. There was no online. So maybe... So that's, like, gives us more of a connection to the character. Yeah. In a weird way. It, yeah, it, you're yeah. totally right. Yeah, I was like... Yeah, I get what you're saying, Nevin. Oh. Please tell us... Please correct us if we're saying your name wrong, too. Is it Navin? I, I've been Navin? saying Nave Nom. Nave Nom. But maybe that's not right. Oh, maybe. Dang <laughs> um, Sorry. Okay. Then, so, like we teased, next week, maybe next week, I think on the schedule, we're planning to do another duo stream on Wednesday. Yeah. And we're going to start. Start, yeah. Metal, Metal Gear, Gear Rising. Rising. Revengeance. Yeah. I keep getting the name mixed up for some reason. Metal I'm like, Gear Metal Rising. Gear Revengeance, the Rising. Oh, Navenum. Navenum. Like, uh, so cool. Emphasis on the ve. Gotcha. Navenum. Navenum. Nice. Okay. Um, so big shout out to all the people who are hanging out with us tonight who have been able to make it live. Yeah. Also shout out to all the people watching the VODs here on Twitch and YouTube. We really, really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, here's all the links. Check our yeah. schedule. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, I'm continuing my first playthrough of Metroid Prime. Nice. Getting close to the end, too. I don't necessarily know if I'll finish it tomorrow. It'd be That would be cool if we finish three games in one week. Now I feel like you have a goal. Yeah. We're yeah. not going to bed tonight until nope. I, tomorrow night until I finish 24-hour stream if yeah. you need to. Um, what, do you, <laughs> what do you think the boss would think of what she created after all the decades, Dave asked? She would throw it all away. I, she'd be like, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 she would scold everyone. She, she'd probably um, regret saying it not so... or uh, Cryptically? <laughs> yeah, or so cryptically. Although I don't even think it was so... Crypt no. Or maybe it, there was you know, yeah. things to... Um, so yeah, Metroid Prime tomorrow, and then next week's schedule is here on Twitch. We haven't posted it on Discord yet, but we will. Um, Audrey has not announced what her next solo stream game is, but not. when she's ready to provide us that information or solicit your information, she'll uh, let us know on the Discord. That's right. Um, as hey, for, Val. Thanks for popping in. Hey, thank Val. You. Thank you. Thank you. As for my next solo stream game, that is always a struggle. I'm actually working on a list of potential next games. And as usual, it's huge. It's like 15 games long. Um, so I'm going to have to whittle that down. Mm. But at as always, at any point in time, if you have a game to recommend for either of us or for a duo stream, or even for not on stream, you just think a game, there's a game we might like, mm. check our Discord, the Rini Recommendations channel at any time. Just drop the recommendations. Uh, and to help with that, we do have a link here I'm putting in chat right now, our Games Played command. It links you to a Google spreadsheet. Corey that lists Bell. everything that we've streamed. Yeah. It's, it'll tell you who played what and whether or not we completed the game. And it also links you to the VODs on both YouTube and Twitch. But it's a good way to just see what kinds of games we're into if that wants to, uh, if you want to use that for inspiration for recommending. Yeah. Uh, who do you think will win between Big Boss and Benna? Big Boss, right? Gotta be Big Boss. Big Boss, yeah. Yeah. The real one. The real one, yeah. <laughs> Venom did good. Venom did good. Don't get me yeah. wrong. But Big Boss, of course. Anyway, um, De Death Stranding. Death Stranding's on the list. It's on the list. Just, just a lot of these games, Audrey and I really discuss off stream. Like, oh, is that better for a solo stream? Better for a duo stream? Because for our duo streams, we've, we kind of have a good idea of what kind of dynamic we want for the stream. And it's best if Audrey and I can both be engaged. Yeah. Even though it's a single player game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm forgetting about the stun arm. You're right. Yeah. The stun arm. Your maxed out stun arm is a little OP. I still haven't used Also, the full wait. Charge. Does Venom, only Venom Snake, have D Dog as a buddy? Ooh, who would D Dog 
obey. Venom. Venom, right? Okay, I switch. I'm on. I'm, I'm on Wait, team Venom. Wait, but we don't know what shenanigans the real big boss is up to right now. He might have his doesn't own doesn't matter. D-Dog? No, he doesn't have D-Dog. D-Dog. What if he has like D-Shark? I don't know. Something. D-Dog. Come on. We got D-Dog. We got D-Horse. D-Walker. Eh, but, you know. Dog Horse? <laughs> <laughs> dog Horse. <laughs> D-Walker. Okay. Whoever, whoever has D-Dogs, then that's de definitely the superior... Uh, Real big boss might have sniper wolf. Oh. No, right? He wouldn't? Big boss? Real big boss? Frank Yeager. Gray Fox. Naomi. Is that all happening soon? That that is all happening. That's all soon. happening soon. Totally. Dang, dude. My Quiet. benefactor in the States. Yeah. Oh, my benefactor to states, dude. Quiet fell in love with the wrong boss. That's interesting you mentioned Quiet's relationship. Well, they both had their own boss. snipers. Dude, quiet. Ah! Oh. So many things, yeah. Audrey and I are going to be think thinking about and yeah. talking about this, yeah. I know, I don't. I personally didn't view their relationship as romantic. Quiet and Big Boss. Yeah. Or Venom Snake, I should this, say. That dynamic has happened a lot in this series, and I don't think it's always, um, I don't think it's always romantic. Yeah. Yeah. That I've been plotting my revenge against this individual, but then as I got closer to them. Then I uh, found myself catching feelings or something. Yeah. Yeah. Some sort of appreciation or understanding. Right. They come right, to right. an understanding. Right. right. Okay. Uh, well. But yeah, thank you guys so much. We don't want to linger too long. Mm -hmm. It's late. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes, and the Phantom Pain. What a pleasure. What a, what a thrill. Pleasure. What a thrill. Thank you, Audrey, for coming along with this uh, journey. And it's it's not over. Year of Metal Gear. Yeah. And thank you for having your hands on the controller. And it was fun to experience this game together. Yeah. Especially this one, because this is the first one where neither of us has played. Yeah. So the same thing will happen Metal Gear Rising. Um, Audrey and I will do extensive testing over the next week to figure out how best to stream it extensive to minimize her motion testing. sickness. I have motion sickness uh, goggles. Maybe Hold I should. the goggles, dude. Maybe I yes. should whip those out. I got it as a white elephant gift, so they're they're silly. I don't I don't know yeah. if they're actually legit. But. Thank you, Labamba. Yeah, I was um thank you. actually watching our vods from Metal Gear Solid Two, and a lot of you guys were there since like a long time ago. So thank you so much. Yeah. Controllers being transferred. And also shout out to the new Nate, people. Um, like again, Venom, thank you so thank much. You. The YouTube people who came over to Twitch, we really appreciate it. Yeah. And if and if you can't show up live, we appreciate you too. You know. Just watching our VODs. How crazy is that? Because like we're we're just throwing the VODs on YouTube. I did not expect to really have views because I think some people also enjoy heavily edited VODs. Oh yeah. That just show highlights. Yeah. But no, we're just dropping like five hour VODs. Yeah. And people are watching that stuff, dude. And everyone over there commenting are like just as considerate and sweet about their comments. Yes. And we appreciate that. Yeah, everyone uh, gets too. the vibe here. Everyone gets the vibe on YouTube because I yeah. I re I screen read and respond to mm -hmm. all of the comments on YouTube yeah. and I will continue to do so until it sucks. Yeah. But um you know a few very excited people have slipped through with comments that were a little spoilery. Sure. But and we appreciate the excitement. Yeah, we appreciate that we we never really want to scold people cuz most of the time when people like accidentally backseat a spoil it's just they are struggling to contain their appreciation for the game and we recognize that so thank you guys for being able to you know yeah <laughs> then i'm watching the vods while working yes we love that <laughs> cool vods you for... gotta clip it share i need to see it side by side what it was <laughs> the way i said a few. <laughs> Oh, really I, I didn't catch that but that's funny i'm watching the vods while working oh perfect yeah um full vods for metal gear for sure can't cut reactions to, to yeah story. i get what you mean and you don't struggle with the games, so that's not a problem either. You don't struggle with the games. I do my best to not... I was nervous about this one because there's no difficulty options. Yeah, yeah. So, but I hung in there. Yeah, you, I mean, I feel like you did really well. This is coming from a, a someone who has absolutely no uh, perception of how difficult the game can be or how anything like that. But as far as I was concerned, everything felt really smooth in terms of the... Um, the missions and the pacing. So I, w I was so happy to be along for the ride. Thank you, Audrey. Yeah. Audrey knows, and oh. I think a lot of you guys know, for these duo streams where since we just want to focus on the story, I do a ton of off-stream homework. 
to make these smooth. Yeah. Whether it's a ton of off-stream grinding in Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah. Doing all these side ops in this one so our weapons could be upgraded. Mm. Practicing so I'm like really good at the controls. I do a lot of that Aww. just so that the duo stream is smooth. Yeah. But also because I don't want Audrey that. to sit there as we like do 50 attempts on a boss. You know what I mean? I'm just ch I'm vibing. Yeah. I'm, we're fine. But I do I do also recognize that there are audiences. There's an audience for that too. Oh yeah, definitely, so, definitely. Yeah. Um, well, I think that about wraps it up. I think we'll try to find someone to raid if there's anyone available we'll on try. our list. Maybe another person playing Metal Gear Solid if we can find one. But um, in the meantime, thank you all again so much. Um, and my name is Audrey. My name is Anthony. Together we are Rini. Thank you again. See you again soon in the next Very stream. Good.